Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome. It is uh, episode 17 of uh, uh, Loud Equals Funny. Loud equals funny. Hopefully it will be loud. <laughs> yeah. Efficiently. I did, it appears that I peaked my waveform on Audacity, so we're looking good. We're hey, looking it, good, Joey! It, it, it's red. Um, it's just, red. <laughs> just, just turn up the gain on all of us. Yeah, I, I, I did kind of turn up the gain on my, my OBS, because it was, it was slightly lower. <laughs> Yeah, I, nice. cranked, I cranked it to uh, to even zeros here, folks. Nice. So again, boys. highest quality. So boys, yeah. we have had uh, we have had uh, quite a week, haven't we? Yeah, fuck. Uh, There's been some things happening. Yeah, I haven't really been paying things. attention. I, I I've been one of the dramas I've been keeping up with is the, the cast media thing, the the big podcasting drama. Oh, I don't even know about that. Ah, right, Coffee Coffeezilla uh, covered it recently. Um, I haven't watched any of his videos in a while. I, my, what's up? my head's been in the sand. I've been playing yeah. Voices of the Void. Oh, yeah, I've been. I've just finished uh, Disco Elysium, and I gotta say, get stick bugged, lol. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Disco Elysium's a bit of a ride. I'm I'm replaying uh, Cyberpunk because Phantom Liberty oh, drops yeah. this week, and God damn it, I was one of the early defenders of this game. I liked uh, it. So, I mean, I will say. You know, based on the video that I saw from, um, I think I mentioned it like three times in a row. That I don't watch him that much. The, the channel Luke Stevens. He was, he did a, a talk about a the. Yeah, he did a talk about the, the the update, and there was a comment in that that was like, "So basically, the game finally launched in September 23." Uh, yes and yeah. no. <laughs> well, I, I would have said it launched with the the Edge Runners update. That there probably... was an update for that. Yeah, there, there was. It, it basically added a lot of the things. It didn't add everything, but I'd say that was. I mean, if if it was going to be like a modern 1.0 release, that's what it probably should have been. I mean, I don't know, shit. I mean, like I had this overwhelming feeling. I know there's like new quests and stuff. I will yeah. say the new, um, the new um, like uh, skill system perks or whatever. Yeah, and that's looking pretty good. The quest, the skill tree thing. That's that's looking solid. Um, but like when I was seeing the video that he was doing, uh, Luke Stevens, he was, he, he, he was just, po he was like half of the video was, was, uh, dedicated to the fact that the game finally has like a working police system. Yeah. The police actually function now. Like half of the video was just, I can't believe they're shooting back at me. This is unbelievable. And I'm just like, wow, this is like. It, like, I, he was pointing uh, out features where I was like, yeah, hey, uh, oh yeah, no, there was one where it's like, finally you can, you there's car combat now, and I'm like, oh great, it's just like GTA 4 from 2008, that's incredible. Yeah, yeah. Had, that sh had that shit in GTA 3 from 2001. Yeah. Here's the thing, is, it takes the features I, like, all, all these patches have taken the features I liked already, because you guys, I mean, you both can attest to it, I enjoyed Cyberpunk from the beginning in a lot of ways. Yeah, it's according to a lot of people a detriment, but I, I don't know. It's admittedly you know. I played I played the one version that wasn't completely fucked at launch for consoles, and that was a Stadia version. Mm. I played <laughs> I played the PC version. I remember it had um, uh, when I started out, all of the like I forget I started with um, I think it was the street. Uh, yeah. start Street path King. and it, you start yeah, it's the one where you start in the corporate office but then you like leave or whatever oh no that that, that is the corpo one. Oh, i don't okay because i did that's the one that that's the one that elon musk had a cameo in and then they took him out oh yeah something. we didn't we didn't talk about Seriously? that yeah oh god oh hang on because uh, I'll, I'll get i'll get that article yeah. i'll get that article. i really i wouldn't have done corpo that's crazy all i know is when i started it i um the whole building was not visible. Like, it was the, one nice. of the classic cyberpunk glitches where, like, the uh, furniture and, like, people's computers were all visible and your character and the other models were visible, but the actual, like, walls and floors were invisible. And it was... I was... Yeah. I, I think what I did was I updated my graphics drivers and then it mostly fixed it and then I basically had no other big, huge glitches until... I got to a point where I realized the performance was getting really bad because the game had a horrible fucking memory leak. Yeah. And I was like eight or nine hours in and like, yeah, it's no longer working that well anymore. Oh, okay. So I, I've got this, uh, I got this article here. Um, 
Elon Musk brought a gun to a recording on a Cyberpunk 2077 recording session. Uh, Elon Musk interrupted Vin Girlfriend Grimes' voice recording sessions with an old school lock pistol. Yep, Grimes is recording lines for Lizzy Wizzy, a bioengineered pop star and murder bot in the action adventure video game. Uh, Isaacson writes, before Musk quote unquote showed up at the studio wielding a 200 year old gun. The studio guys were sweating, Grimes told Isaacson. However, ultimately, CD Projekt Red awarded Musk with a small cameo. Uh, I told them that I was armed, but not dangerous, uh, Musk said to Isaacson about the incident. He came with the old Elon musket. Thank yeah. You. Here all week. God damn it. Um, the biography suggests Musk fixated on Cyberpunk partly because the game's uh, prevalent cybernetic implants reminded him of his company Neuralink, which dedicated to human inter well human com human brain computer interfaces and was recently FDA approved for human trials. So oh, good God. Hey, if you, if you want your first taste at early cyberpunk technology, which if you know anything about no. cyberpunk technology, wait a bit. <laughs> yeah. Remember fucking, remember when Zoe Quinn got the, um, the, the, little, uh, the chip thing put yeah. into her hand. The little she was like, I'm cyberpunk things, now or whatever. To yeah. be fair, she got she got it so that when it scans, it like sends a copy of Deus Ex, which cool as fuck. Well, yeah, oh, it's, that's it's, pretty based, but it's actually. also here's the thing: what 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 do you scan that would one be able to play it, two be able to download well, that much data? It's I think yeah. I think it's like a Google Drive link or something like that. Okay, I mean, hey, then that's actually pretty cool. I'll just I'll just bombard every debit machine with a copy of Deus Ex <laughs> Game of the Year. <laughs> You know, if with the revision mod. If that overloaded Watch. like a fucking AT, like an ATM machine and gave you all the money, that would be <laughs> just <pretty> great. <laughs> just like just in Deus Ex. Exactly. And just walk up to someone, why don't you get a job? Touch their phone and they have <laughs> Deus Ex on there. Uh, here, here is, here's some more from this article, and it is just hilarious. Uh, while discussing designs for the unreleased Tesla Cybertruck, first announced in 2019... Uh, Musk routinely referenced the Cyberpunk 2077 trailer alongside the car from video game Halo and Blade Runner. Oh, huh. Wait, like the Warthog? What? Yeah, he literally he didn't even call it the Warthog, he just said the car from video I mean, game Halo. I mean, it does look like a fucking Warthog. It looks like a fucking PS1 low-poly Warthog. Still. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm just imagining, like, fucking cybernetic enhancement futuristic fucking cyberpunk shit. Do you really want the guy who's destroying Twitter to be in charge of that for you? I don't I don't no, know. To be fair, this was two years before he started destroying Twitter. But also... He, he, yeah. I, I think that's why they took him out. <laughs> um, he is continuing from this article. His son Saxton recently had an offbeat question that resonated with Musk. Why does the future look like the future? Uh, Musk would quote Saxton's question repeatedly. Uh, and I'm going to end this here with this quote. He's not good at reading the room, Grimes said. No. Huh. Yeah, true. I mean, he came to a fucking recording studio with, like, an antique rifle. Like, Man was he said, trying to... Tally ho, the... lads! I'm here for my part! <laughs> He's got his Rudy Tooty point and shooty. Was he trying to like bully the nerds or something? Like, oh, dude. I feel like I feel like it's almost like a, a, a dogs eating dog six thing of like I'm gonna retail, I'm gonna bully these children because I have no self esteem. Elon Musk is a tiny little man, so he's like, ha, huh, these fucking programmer computer nerds, I'm gonna make, fr I'm gonna bully them with my gun. They're all gonna be scared of me. He's like, he's like Steven Seagal. Dude, oh my dude, god, he is. He, he, dude. Okay, so this fucking this bio, this autobiography um came out. This biography, I should say, not autobiography, um has come out. And there's so many things in here where it's like this is the official biography. Is this yes, like with his the, it, oh, okay. his blessing with um? It's written so by. In other words, it's full of shit. Then it's full of some shit I wouldn't let in public. I, it's, mm, oh, okay. Oh, oh right. yeah. Um, uh, here's here's headline. Uh. Amber Heard spent two months designing Overwatch Mercy cosplay for ex Elon Musk. Wait, she posts... was with Elon Musk? Yes. He posts that every so often. Oh, God. Amber Heard and Elon Musk sounds like an incredible duo. Why didn't they stay together? <laughs> Match made in heaven. Huh. 
Yeah, no, he... We need, we need Johnny... We need John... I was about to say Johnny Test. We need Johnny Depp to fuck uh, Grimes next, and that's the only... That's the solution. Uh, uh, honest to God, Grimes seems, Grimes seems so far up his alley. Yeah. Fucking weird, waifish, like... I mean, annoying... the thing about Grimes... Like, I don't know much about Grimes' music outside of being very annoyed by what I heard of it in Cyberpunk and elsewhere. I like our elsewhere. angels, but... I can't name a song. There's probably a good song here and there, but like, um, I remember she was like a Mew meme. Yeah. Back in the day. Oh god, like, yeah, I have, she was. I have an image that is saved as it's a sh it's a it's a shot from I can't even explain what it is because I didn't watch the show much, but it's from Hey Arnold, and it's just it's captioned as Grimes tries to steal Joanna Newsom's style, <laughs> and it's from like 2012 or something, and yeah, Grimes was a big meme. And then she went on to continue being kind of a meme when she like fucked Elon. Yeah, well, she, and she's then like they, some they weird made French a... Canadian lady. I I don't understand her. Oh, that's even worse. They made a baby together, which was like named after a fucking equation or some insane oh, shit. And they have three. Yeah. That's yeah, also well, that's also something. Bad name. That's also well. Hold on here. Let me. Well, what are the other names actually? Oh, oh, I don't. Hold on here. I only know the one that's like X A B twelve or whatever the fuck. Uh, there is X Asha, uh, X Asha twelve. I refuse. Exa Dark Sidrael. Oh, and uh, I don't. I don't think the other one's fully been named. I'm trying to find. Uh, hold on here. If it also has X, then okay. Tech, okay. Yeah, it's, 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 okay, hold, hold on. No, no, hang on. No, the, the name of the, the, the third child, which is according to the thing here, um, is Tau Techno Mechanicus. Okay, Mechanicus. oh Mimes. god, yeah, that. yeah, Tau, Tau Techno Mechanicus. Is that what you said? Yes, I just, I mean, at a certain point, that has to be child abuse. It really should be. Like, can't... Like, okay, it w would it be considered child abuse if you named your child Shit Muffin? I think you can name your child Hitler, too. I'm I'm, I'm almost... <laughs> well, let, me, let me make sure here. What... Can I name my child the Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power? <laughs> Is that too far? I, I, I think it might be just slightly too far. Uh, let's see here. Naming law. Okay, here. Um, we'll, we'll go. We'll go I to just United named my States. My child, fuck shit. That would be great. Hey, tell you what, we'll, go, we'll go to fuck Canada. Shit dork. That's just gonna be his name. <laughs> no, his name will be fuck shit <laughs> <laughs> Um, so in Canada, naming laws vary from province to province. In BC, the Vital Statistics Act requires the Registrar General to reject a proposed name or amendment to an existing name if the name might reasonably be expected to cause mistake or confusion or embarrassment to a child or other person. <laughs> so, Canada, Canada. I'm glad that's, glad yeah. that second part. Glad yeah. that second part's there, because, like, you're not going to be confused. You're not going to mix fucking Techno Mechanicus up with something else. Uh, okay. Well, yeah, uh, you're not going to mix it up, but it sure, sure is embarrassing. I love how every yeah. other country is just like a part of this one page. When I scroll down the United States, and it's like, here, just go to this other whole fucking big page. Um, oh, like each state has its own thing? Yeah, each state and then certain parts of a country and other factors. And it's like, you're just giving me a fucking run around here. <laughs> Uh, apparently, uh, conversely, few states such as Kentucky have no naming laws whatsoever. There you go. That's where you can you can go take your future yeah, bastard you just and name move to Kentucky. Yeah, <laughs> go take your name and your favorite bet, like your future bastard, and name him John Wick Chapter Two. You know. So we're. I have to say, <laughs> that's a good. That's funny. <laughs> Why would you name him Chapter Two? I think exactly. the third one was the better one, wasn't it? <laughs> just, just, just name him Jodorowsky's Doom. <laughs> Doom. Come here, Spider-Man: Far From Home. Come here. <laughs> just Where name is... the man Halo: The Master Chief Collection, Halo Three, and the Where is my son, Netflix Cowboy Bebop? <laughs> Where is my daughter, Zombie Land Double Tap? <laughs> Honestly, for real. Where's my son, Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl? Hell yeah. 
<laughs> Where's my I, son, I Division to... 2? Well, I have to say, though, it's been, like, it's been, what, uh, 12 years since, yes. uh, since it came out. Um, where is my son, Davakin? <laughs> I have That's to say, true. He, That's people, true. He's out there somewhere. He, yeah. <laughs> there are multiple people who, na- if people don't know, there was, yeah. like, some kind of, what was it, like, a contest, it was a contest or something? If you named your kid, um, Dovahkiin, you would get uh, every every prior release, and I think every future release. I, I need to look into this here. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, it, it, it was, that it was, was actually a, a good bargain, actually, considering how many future releases there were. Um, Let me, let me look into this here. Uh, yeah, continue for a bit because I'm gonna I'm gonna try to Google this. Oh shit. yeah, yeah. Uh, for I, I'm 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 mostly sure that it's every future release as well. Yeah. So um, I mean, there's just a bunch of little Dovakins running around in the world. At least one. <laughs> because least someone one. someone claimed and won the prize. Yeah, at least one. And there was another thing that was similar. Oh yeah, it was um Khaleesi. Oh, you, well, that, were, uh, that, that was, wasn't that oh. wasn't even a that wasn't even a contest. Those people were just insane. <laughs> I don't like. That. Yeah, no. Well, there there, was... there's there's so many like oh, okay. I, I'll I'll say this here, and I think this is just the truest statement ever. Game of Thrones ruined like certain groups of white women. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I was about to say if you if you were saying certain people, I would have narrowed it down to white. Women. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, it's like, I, I dude, there was a girl I knew who I I. I have to be very vague about who this person is, because I don't want her ever coming back to me, because she's fucking weird. But she would always, like, do that, and she named her kid um, John Snow, and then her last name, and it's like, oh, it's, it's fucking embarrassing. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. Sucks. I did find it here. Um, here's the headline. Parents named child Dovahkiin earn lifetimes worth of Bethesda games. Megan and Eric oh, so Kellermeyer. What's that? It's every Bethesda game. It, yep, every Bethesda game. Damn. So, yeah, actually, fu- yeah, get, yeah, forget your child. You can have another kid that's not a joke. Yeah, his name is Dovahkiin Tom Kellermeyer. <laughs> <laughs> Dovahkiin Tom? Yep. Well, at least he has that name to fall back on. Uh, you know, God, I hope so. I mean, you know, Dova, I guess you could call hey, him. Dove. But then you get, Come here, and you get, you get like Ben Dova jokes. Why wouldn't you name your child <laughs> Ben Dova Keen? You know, yeah, that'd be way. <laughs> oh God, that poor kid. <laughs> uh, Maybe yeah. he wound up on the football team. He might be more Chadley than all of us. Yeah, you know. here's hoping. Maybe he's I mean, less for the unlikely. The kids in like middle. The kids in like middle school right now, he might be. Who um, knows? Oh god. Yeah, we're gonna okay, have to make there... a user rant about this 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 uh this Dovahkiin kid. There is a follow up. I'm I'm okay, so I'm just scrolling past for, like the prelude here. Um I was a bit skeptical at first, actually, says Megan Kellermeyer, Dovahkiin's mother. <laughs> oh my god, that's that's getting Dovah me. Dovahkiin's mother. Dovahkiin's mother. <laughs> but my husband had no doubt that the best would hold true of their offered prize. How are you sh- I'm fucking sure they lied about climbing up mountains with that goddamn kid? Lady. <laughs> Lady. <laughs> yeah, you've been lied about so much, and you just like, yeah, they'll keep their word on this one. You yeah, see ma- that mountain? You can fuck that mountain. You had a child? I just- yeah, we're gonna we're gonna oh no, it's no. Bad. oh no! I, I just <laughs> I'm just imagining <laughs> I'm just imagining this like interview and the mom is like, well, it was my husband's idea, and the the interviewer's like, now are you sure you couldn't have done any better? <laughs> like, because are you sure, lady? Are you fucking sure that this is the best you could do? Was the guy who wanted to sacrifice your child to Bethesda? <laughs> uh <laughs> she's I mean, just having like her whole rest of her life is doubts and 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 shame this kid is 12 <laughs> and it should now. be it should be it should be but damn dude this kid is tw- almost 12 now um yeah but yeah apparently the fan the rest of her family was okay with it when they heard about the prize <laughs> grandma was just like oh a lifetime of Bethesda games you say well sign me up 
I played Terminator I... Future Shock when I was 32. Hell, I'll call him the Nevermarine if you want to be too. Oh, okay, so uh, as for whether or not Bethesda is still living up to its promise of a lifetime supply of free games for family, Megan confirmed the publishers indeed kept its word after all these years. If you saw my husband's Steam account in its trading list, you'd see all the cool Bethesda games we received a code for and he got for free. As my husband is a gamer, Man. he put it to good use. How how stupid how must that entire family feel now that the entire Bethesda catalog is like on game free pass. plus on Game Pass? Yeah, I mean, like yeah. for all instead of instead of naming your child Dolvakine, you just pay them like ten bucks a month. Well, well, he got a version of Starfield that you need for botting, so it's like okay. he, he, well, that's, he that does get a W but... there. Yeah, yeah, you gets to have the Samus Aran ship, you know. So that's fair. Uh, apparently, uh, apparently, according to um, according to the parents, they did pick the middle name as a relatively normal one if they wanted to fall if you wanted to fall back for it, which yeah. I get. But apparently, he likes his first name. Huh? I mean, yeah. Uh, he yeah. says that calling him Dova is short, or for short, is fine. Thanks. Hey? You know what? Uh... I mean, it just I mean, reminds hey, me of like yeah. sports sports families where it's like, yeah, the kid doesn't mind that he was named after Mickey Mantle because like his parents told him that that was a good thing and he should oh. be happy about it. Well, I mean, here that kid would be named like Braden or like mm, Damon. Yeah. There's a lot of yeah, those. Yeah. I guess Delvacin is superior. Delvacin's way like... better than than Brayden. 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 You don't want to be a Brayden. It's yeah. rough being a Brayden. You really do not want to be a Brayden. No. Yeah. It's, it's gonna be rough. Yeah, no, so Sony got hacked. Yeah! How about that? Um, speaking crazy. of... Speaking of nothing, speaking of changing the subject entirely, Sony yeah. got hacked. Yeah, was, should have this pulled up a little earlier. Yeah, um, Ransomed.VC Group claims hack on all of Sony's systems, quote-unquote. Uh, relative ransomware newcomers have claimed to have succeeded in what could be a devastating ransomware attack on Sony. Uh, ransomware on like on the users? Uh, well, ransomware uh, on Sony servers. Um, here, here's oh. what they say: We have successfully compromised all Sony systems. We won't ransom them. We will sell the data. Due to Sony not wanting to pay, data is for sale. Declaring before the group adds before declaring, we are selling it. In all caps. Um, Alright, well, have fun with that, I guess. Yeah, apparently they seem to have um, a... F they posted two things, which one of them is a like a login page, uh, something outlining test bench details and a number of Java files, and apparently a file tree of a whole leak, which appears to be less than 6,000 files. So, as I'm reading it, that sounds a little iffy, but those could be important files. If those are financial files... That might be bad for Sony. Yeah. Because yeah, we're, so. we're, sh we're sure this isn't Lizard Squad again, right? Huh, huh, huh. I'm pretty certain. I think two of those guys got like real big jail. It's like the ten, the ten year anniversary of the Lizard Squad hack. When was that? Like when that, uh, that was, was about like April, what, 2010? April 2011, I think. Uh, okay. The, yeah. the thing I remember about those hacks were. They weren't, like, bad as a data hack, but they were just so fucking, like, panicked about, yeah, you know, possibly it happening again. They took the servers down, and that's yeah. why everything was down for a while. But that really hurt them at a point where they were doing really good. Well, like, that was before data hacks were happening every other week. Yeah, or at least on that, like, same level, you know? Like, just... It's fucking wild nowadays, because there's a story out of, uh, out of Vegas... Where these like low level hackers are just hacking the the shitty infrastructure that these casinos use because they'll pay the ransom. They just will, no questions yeah. asked. Just like, okay, whatever, fine. <clears throat> Which, hey, I mean, I'm not gonna not gonna say I recommend it, but those casinos, you know. Hey, you know, it's not like that's free money or anything, but yeah. you know, hey. hey, look, I mean, the, it's, the house... it's a casino. You're winning the moral victory. Yeah. Hey, look, here's the thing. If those casinos really wanted to, uh, you know, if they wanted to make sure the house always wins, they'd, uh, they bet on black. And by that, I mean black chips for their computers. Get the, get the good shit. I don't know. Ah, okay. uh, don't worry, don't worry. We, we're, we're picking up what you're putting down. But yeah, no. 
God damn, so Sony... Sony cannot catch a break on certain shit. Hackers. Well, I mean, I don't know. Hacks are happening a lot lately. Well, true, but uh, like some of the biggest hacks I can think of are um, like the emails from Sony Pictures, mm. the data breach. In yeah, li- Lizard Squad. Yeah, I don't know that this yeah. is up there with that. It's not up there with that. It's certainly one of those things where you're like, really, Sony, again? Yeah. Hey. It just keeps happening. Again. Just just like subject change, uh, Elon sure? Musk huh? making stupid ass, shit ass, dumb ass decisions. Oh shit, what now? Uh, good more Elon. So, so I'm gonna keep Elon, this wait, wait, because it's Elon hasn't changed his name yet to anything with an X in it, huh? Okay. Not yet. Not yet. It'll happen. So we're gonna wait we're gonna wait for him to change his name to Exxon and they get sued by the fucking gas station. Yeah. Exxon. But no, um <laughs> Exxon <laughs> Musk, but with but the K out as an X. <laughs> but um so we briefly yeah. mentioned this last episode, but um there was a rumor that uh Elon was trying to make Twitter a paid platform. Yeah, pay ah. to pay a monthly fee to use. He is oh, yes, uh, the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Right. He's now actually like spoken about it publicly, and it looks like he intends to keep going with it. So uh, I mean, this will definitely uh, bring advertisers. Yeah. <laughs> and nobody else. <laughs> you'll have you'll have like the corporate McDonald's Twitter account. Oh, okay. And then under it, there's nice. like three bots because. He, Elon is saying that he keeps doing this to like get rid of the bots. The bots have only been getting worse. Yeah. In, in fact, so, it's like, like triple I mean, down I don't know. Worseness. When I stopped using Twitter, I remember there had uh, like at that by that point, like okay, like a decade ago or whatever in fucking GamerGate era. Yeah, there were a ton of fucking bots that would respond to anything you said at any given time. But like when I stopped using Twitter, it was like 2020 or something. There weren't really that many bots. Yeah, that the were, bots like, started up a huge again. problem. The bots fucking started up again when Elon was saying, "Hey, I'm going to take over." No yeah. surprise there. And it's it's literally just gotten worse. Like it just keeps fucking getting worse you, each time. I, I I'm not sure if I talked about this here before, but uh, there was there was this uh, just a little bit of background. There was this uh, Doctor Who leak. That yeah. happened, where it looks like the eleventh Doctor was standing on set, but it was like two fucking two p, not even one hundred forty four p. It was like a cell phone like shot of like the smallest fucking monitor you've ever seen. Yeah. So it was so it, it was, was tails and it was tails and or Sonic and tails in melee basically. Yes, but uh, it was revealed that uh, it was actually a three D model. Of a really, really oh. poorly made 3D model of Matt Smith. And I jokingly said, Somebody please get me that model. I want to port it into Morrowind. That would be mm-hmm. funny. But I right. said the word the words 3D model in my tweet. And apparently that was a mistake. Cause I got like 50 fucking replies from 3D model artists on Twitter who fucking like keyworded the the phrase 3D model. And like that that was my fucking afternoon. Because Jeez. they would just keep coming. Oh. Yeah. I mean so like was, the, the bots, the bots have on only anything. gotten worse. And the, yeah, mm. they they like if, if you mention fucking Roblox, you if you mention fucking Fortnite, they'll just be like, hey, do you want some fucking gift cards? <laughs> I mean, Want to join my the, free gift card giveaway? I guess the <laughs> most popular version of that is probably the um, the crypto people. Yeah, oh, there's absolutely. a lot of those too. You mentioned yeah. anything even remotely weight related to like Web 3.0, crypto, any of that, or even you, just like finance fucking... or whatever. Yeah, any anything. You mentioned the wrong three letter string of words. Oh, sorry. Sucks <laughs> to be you. That's actually no. a stock. No, I was talking about S-E-X, not S-T-X. Oh, God. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, My plans have been foiled. (laughs) 
Sex 2 is never coming out, Tristan. You're going to have I to give it up. I can't believe it. I, I'm, I'm holding out hope, two. damn it. God. Yeah, no. Um, fucking... Oh, God, yeah. I, I, I forgot I didn't even bring it up via the NFT article. Huh? Oh, that NFTs are all fucking worthless. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That yeah. Was funny. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, apparently, I, I well, what is the exact statistics on that? You got me, the article. Let me find that here. I'm still hunting for it because it's like ninety percent or something of NFTs yeah, are like worthless now. Yeah, Rolling Stone article here. Your NFTs are actually finally totally worthless. A new report from industry researchers find that ninety five percent of you once hyped crypto assets have hit rock bottom valuation. Ninety five. Ninety five percent. That's a lot of percent. See, it, it, here's the thing. I. I've said this to you guys before, and I've gotten a couple, a little bit of backlash. I'll say it on podcasts. I, I don't mind getting shit on for my opinions. Oh boy! I, I think go. the technology behind all this shit is clever. There is no it's technology. just well, but... no, Ben. Here's the thing. That's what I thought too until I started watching more like videos about it, and I'm like, oh, there is just no actual technology. Yeah, you... Nothing <laughs> that they're like. At first, I thought it was cool. I'm like, oh, the blockchain. That sounds interesting. Because, like, yeah, you know, Bitcoin blockchain yeah. stuff kind of is. There's, like, something, some things you can do there. And there's some level of, like, um, <clears throat> transactions being traceable. One of the funniest things is how many people scam with crypto. Considering oh, yeah. that, like, the whole concept of crypto is that you can trace the wallet transactions. So it's like... It's like it's almost and, it, and almost every time it comes down to like yeah we trace the transactions and it turns out he was scamming and it's like wow I can't believe that this keeps happening if it's that simple but yeah but fuck yeah I mean I, I'm, I'm saying just the core technology is clever it's just it's been appropriated to do scams I just don't know that there's even a technology it's kind of the whole thing is a bit of a scam it's all just kind of like repurposing of you know some stuff that already existed and you know for the purposes of money eventually i think even like one of the creators of the nft was like you know this was a mistake uh, i don't know i'm talking about so, my uh, uh, did you get that opinion from uh our favorite boy matt olson no no <laughs> no Every every single say? time NFTs every single time yeah. NFTs come up, I have to I have to remind everyone that the line goes up video was made by a man who went uh, he went on 8chan and downloaded a bunch of like you know CP adjacent images and that like that's super fucking illegal in Canada. Yeah, it's a, it's a little sussy, a little fucking sussy. Oh wait, yeah, I said Matt yeah. Olson. I think I meant Dan Olson. Yes, Dan Olson. Yes, I was thinking that. I, I you know I, I I will censor the. Now, since they're one name especially. Yeah. Uh, um... I don't want him coming at me. Oh, no. I thought we were okay with him coming at us. Oh, that's a shame. Because I've said his name multiple times, Matt Ullman, Matt Ullman. Oh. Um, but, you know. See, I just won't edit any yeah. of them. I'll just let people be confused. No, I edit all of them, and that's that's perfect. <laughs> there so, we go. Yeah, edit, edit all of them, because we're saying a different name each time, of course. Matt Ullman, well, yeah. Matt Ullman. Uh, Matt Ullman. Dan Olson. Uh, especially, especially Matt Ullman. Yeah. Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah. Uh, don't talk about him. <laughs> well, especially Steven Seagal. <laughs> Fucking Keanu Reeves, John Wick, Chapter 2. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Where is that boy? John Wick, Chapter 2. Mirror. Get over here. Your corn and grits are ready. He starts to do like a cat thing. Mirror. Mirror, John Wick, Chapter 2. <laughs> <laughs> too. Or just John Wick for short, I guess. Wick, John Wick, John Wick. <laughs> you call him Baba Yaga for short. Hell, if you yeah. ever call him John, then he doesn't even respond to it. He doesn't even acknowledge it. Baba but Yaga. it's John. It's John Wick. It's fine. Baba Yaga. God, I'm. Uh, you know, I will say this: having played through Cyberpunk again, people don't give him a ton of credit for his work in that game. I think, but he fucking killed it. I mean, he he typically just does well. He's he's Keanu. He's always Keanu. I I, I think it's it's his least Keanu y Keanu role. If that makes sense. I mean, it's a lot better than the fucking Dracula movie. It's a lot better than the new Matrix movie. Uh, it, people like the Matrix movie, ironically. 
I, I like I, the I new think, first Matrix film. I think the whole thing about that movie is that uh, one of the Wachowskis basically just said, eh, fuck it, let's make it bad. Let's make it fucking suck. I mean, I respect that. Basically, basically just to waste the studio's money. Oh, yeah. That's yeah I, they I were going to make it. ever respect that. Yeah, they were going to make it anyway. And yeah, one of them just didn't even want anything to do with it. And the other was like, well, I might as well just make it bad on purpose myself. Do you remember, Rather than um, let them screw it up. Do you remember the, the remake of Psycho that Gus Van Zandt did? It, I didn't it, even know there was a Psycho remake. Oh, okay. We have to watch this sometimes. It's a fascinating... Oh, I, I think God. it's an art piece. I, I think it it's is It's a shot-for-shot shot remake, isn't yep, it? Yep, shot-for-shot. They, shot like, they spent with... like millions of dollars with Vince Vaughn to yeah. recreate a movie that already existed for no reason. Oh, yeah. Give me one second. I'm going to grab another drink real quick. Yeah. My man's thirsty. Well, uh, you know, while he's gone, I know he also cares too, but I was going to mention there was a, a a trailer thing for the new Doctor Who specials. Yeah. And, it, and it, I don't know how many, uh, how many are there? <laughs> there are going to be three of them. Uh, I'm pretty sure all of them are going to be uh, released this November. Uh, I'm not sure what. No one, no one knows what the scheduling of that's going to be like. It's usually November, though. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's it's an anniversary special. Yeah. I I, did, um, I I'm pretty sure one, at least one of them is going to air on the actual 23rd. Right. Yeah. I mean the um the uh the the footage we see it looks like a movie. I mean it's very yeah. high high budget, good effects, really good. Like, I mean, like the cinematography of it looks like a film. Like, you'd see it yeah. on the theater. I mean, that's the thing. Doctor Who's been doing that since, like, 2014. Yeah. Well, yeah, 20, to an extent. But... 2013, actually, because it's the 50th anniversary special. It's like that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's especially noticeable here for me. I'm like, oh, yeah, wow, yeah, this, yeah. Is yeah. Like, looks... this is like they made a Doctor Who movie. Like It looks better than any before. But also, uh, Doctor Who's always pretty much kept up with the times ever since the end of the 11th Doctor's era. Yeah. Yeah. Nowadays, it looks better. On average, I'd say it looks better than like a CW show or something. For one thing. Well, oh, yeah. At yeah, the I very mean, least, it, it depends. CW here. Depends it's on exactly when they had to. It depends on the season because sometimes they had budget and sometimes, you know, Arrow season seven. Yeah. Flash <laughs> season nine or whatever. Yeah, the last season got a little rough. Still like it. So. Oh yeah, that, that might be. Course, we might have to cover that would. on the hyperfixations, the the Arrowverse. I definitely want to uh... the Felicity verse, Claw. You ready for that? <laughs> He's ruining the show. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for anybody who doesn't know, Bane was it? Well, you suggested that I did. You write the lyrics or what was it? because uh, there I, was we did a. I think we, we did it. it. Yeah, we co- we kind of co- together brainstormed a parody of the song "Hungry Like the Wolf," <laughs> but it was about the the Felicity character in Arrow ruining the show yeah. and how her fans are like Mary Sue, you know, yeah. fan, f- fan fiction people. And it's like we just came for a superhero show. We don't need the original cool character Felicity, who's super great and amazing at everything. You know, we don't need that. But God, sure. But- Sure was half of that show, wasn't it? It, it, it sure was quarters. like well over half of that fucking show. You didn't get to the oh, end, yeah. did you? Uh, I don't remember. I didn't finish the other one. I I, I finished out of all the shows I watched. Legends of Tomorrow the most, probably other than Flash. And then oh, God. that one was fun. After the first season, which really sucked. Well, the first season was so bad. Yeah, the... every episode. I remember every episode was like, boy, the 50s sure wasn't very progressive. I sure yeah. feel like it was more progressive in the future. And that Dude, was like the entire I'll, episode. I'll say this. Season season two fucks. It becomes Legion of Doom with... Um, I, I forgot the character's name off the top of my head, but it's Neil McDonough. Um, oh, yeah. yeah from him, the Arrow show, the yeah, same character. Him... Um, uh, the the actual Thawne, not not the guy from not not the guy from that one show, but I can't remember the name of. Not not the guy who we usually see as Eobard, but 
Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. The, the original Yabard. They have him. I mean, as I've I've, I've heard around. that the second second season onward is better. Oh know? yeah, I'll at least recommend actually, it for for the second season. Speaking of Doctor Who, that was the show that had uh, uh, Arthur Darville on it. Um, yep. Rory. Nice. Uh, and he was basically playing a Doctor Who character, essentially. Like, he was just... Yeah. He was essentially, he essentially was Doctor, Doctor, DC's yeah. Doctor character, yeah. Um, and then they, like, booted him off, I think, after season one. Uh, after, after like, season... Well, Hawk, Hawkman and Hawkgirl get booted after season one, because they were fucking useless from the story. Which is a shame. I love Hawkman and Smallville. I remember him. Yeah. The Hawkman and Smallville fucked. This guy sucked. Uh, um, and not 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 the good kind. I'm trying to think. They all because they had um, formerly Chucks. Formerly. They also had because um, they had Arthur Darville and they had um, the guy who played um, B- Barman. Um, I'm drawing a blank. John Barman. John Barman. Yes. Yeah, oh, they had him on yeah, there too. Yeah, he played Malcolm Merlin. Captain just... Jack. Just brought. Oh, oh, yeah, as Malcolm Merlin. That makes sense. Yeah. Malcolm Merlin, but the fucking character who never stayed dead and who was always where he didn't need to fucking be. I mean, he didn't even need to be in the whole show. I guess he's like a famous Green Arrow villain, but it was so but unnecessary. It, they, they lost the plot on him. We we could honestly just talk about Arrowverse for thirty minutes. Yeah, we'll probably do. You maybe just you and me because I know Tristan doesn't give a shit. We you and I can do. And do Arrowverse shit. That'd True. Fine. I mean, if Tristan wants to just hear some of the dumb plots and not hear his reaction. Oh, yeah. Him. That would be pretty fun. That does sound pretty fun, actually. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't... It, we can talk about dumb superhero plots, too, because I I could bitch for, like, 20 minutes about uh, that. Remember Superman 1, where he, like, flies back in time? Oh, well, that's famous. Yeah. It's famous, but I, I still like bitching about it. Yeah, that's that's one of the one of the classics, certainly. Like it just uh, it wouldn't do anything like that. That's great. I don't know where they even came up with that idea. That is actually but, really dumb. But, come but, to think of it, it yeah. is it is like where did they come with come up with that? The writers spent probably like three days in a room just thinking, like, how the fuck do I fix this? I, I've killed her, but I honestly don't know where to go with this. Ah, uh, fuck it, rewind time. Uh, rewind time somehow? Uh, yeah, I guess that's the only option. How, how would he do that, that, though? Maybe Kurt No, no, no. Use? No, no, guys, guys, I have a perfect idea. What if the world rotated backwards, it's and like, that's how the time got reversed? Planet, planet rotates clockwise, right? If he spins counterclockwise, then it would reverse it. So, yeah, I mean, because that's how it, clocks work. Thing? It almost, it makes, like, a fun, interesting sci-fi premise of what happened, like, localized time travel. Like, the Earth, because he spins around the Earth and turns it back in time, but it doesn't turn the rest of the solar system back in time, or the adjacent universe. Yeah, it, so, it has like, to fuck up the The time. Earth is, is now completely out of rotation with everything, and, and that would be kind of interesting to figure out how that world exists, you know? It'd be pretty fucking wild. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, dumb superhero movies might be a topic. Yeah. Well, speak, speaking of Doctor Who, uh, I'll yes. go ahead and float this to you since it's on my on mind. I was thinking a couple weeks before the anniversary, maybe like first or second week of uh, of November, mm-hmm. we just do the the Doctor Who hyperfixations and then upload like the Spotify and YouTube. Same on Nick. different on, on yeah on the uh, on the uh the 23rd the anniversary i said finale yeah that's for me i mean it could it could be the last uh <laughs> the last of the specials airing on that day who knows yeah. Yeah. yeah i don't know that'd be pretty cool i'd be down for it hell yeah i i need to watch the the last season they haven't because I, I, haven't, I haven't really caught up with the, the jody stuff luck oh why even bother well, yeah, here's the thing. There, there is some good in it, and the stuff that isn't good is fun to laugh at. <laughs> oh, I guess so. That's true. Fair enough. Yeah, like I, I do I have think... to figure out what the fucking deal is with her turning into like a different version of the fifteenth Doctor or whatever the fucking Doctor they're on, and 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 was it fourteenth? 
I guess it is. Yeah, She's Dave, the fourteenth Doctor, and then I guess the new guy is like the fifteenth. I think so. Wait, what? no, okay, okay. So uh, David Tennant's the fourteenth. Shooty Gatz was the fifteenth. Okay. That yeah, is I'm, so I'm bizarre. Yeah. I mean, they're gonna probably explain it, but like, very bizarre. I mean, is he gonna have a different personality? From what we see, no. It's just the tenth doctor. So it's again. just the tenth doctor again. All right. From, very from what cool. I, yeah. it's it's gonna be the it's gonna be the tenth doctor, but with the eleventh, eleventh, twelfth, and thirteenth like experiences and memories. So that might change him a bit. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I suppose it's post um, war arc and all of that. Well, I guess it already was, but it's post war doctor stuff coming out. Yeah. So that could be different too. Yeah. I don't know. Tune in in the future for Doctor Who hyperfixations. We'll we'll watch. We'll. I don't even know. We're gonna have to try to do some kind of uh, some kind of research before then. I guess all of us. True. Yeah, also, I, I have a few I want to watch too. Yeah, I saw what yeah. you posted in the uh, chat. Yeah, Hideki Kamiya has uh, left. Will be leaving Platinum Games in October. He finally yeah. did it. He blocked Platinum. He blocked <laughs> himself from a job. Yeah, he blocked himself out of a, a F place, at least. And He was I working think, on a big game. I think the best part is that, like, almost immediately after, he, yeah. tweets, uh, he tweets out this. <laughs> it, is, uh, Fucking it, is, it is a picture... Of All his right. underwear with a massive hole in the bottom. <laughs> uh, uh, Hell yeah! Yeah, that's not even underwear at that point. That's that's crotchless panties. Yeah, it's it's almost like a couple more ribs to becoming a skirt. <laughs> yeah, for for all of you who uh, who are listening, uh, go to Hideki Kamiya's uh, Twitter. If you're not blocked by him, if not, just open an incognito window if it's not paid to use. At that point, <laughs> oh god! And uh, it'll be the one from the from September twenty fifth today, the day we're recording, at like four a.m. four a.m. Eastern. I don't yeah, know what, I don't know what time zone you're in. You, you four thirty four. Yeah, it, he's he's like sitting on the toilet with a huge rip in his underwear. It's 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 beautiful stuff, really. <laughs> he's he's just like, oh, I just noticed this massive hole in my underwear. Yeah, I just noticed my pants were torn to a degree I've never a degree I've never seen before. Hell yeah! What does this mean about capitalism? I'm this, not this, sure. This means he has iron balls. Out. That's what it means. Hell this yeah! This means scale bound is finally happening. <laughs> Motherfucker has Tekken Tama. That's a Japanese joke. <sighs> oh fuck, man. Speaking of like game company shit, yes. So Unity is uh, kind of walking back a little bit, what they did. Um, yeah. But only a little bit, and it's also like only a little bit, but yeah. they've proven that they're willing to just like complete. What was the thing with the the user the end user license agreement where like they just changed it or deleted it or something, some really shady shit. Where they were like they they tried to change it on their end, but like every user still had their copy of the ULA. Yeah. Um, there was some shit like that, and it's like yeah, they will just like pull the rug out from under you. You know they've proven oh, yeah. that now. He, here's yep. the problem: is it's how do I describe this? It's like you're either damned if you do or damned if you don't, because. I mean, it's well, a no. No, you're damned. You're not damned if you go to Godot instead or whatever. Well, I, I mean, Godot probably, but like the other big one is Unreal, and Unreal it, has this thing. Where... Yeah, it's a matter of time they do something. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I suppose so. but it's not like it used to be viable back in like the PS2, 360, that kind of era of like creating your own engine, but. With game dev time ballooning so fucking much, yeah, it's not viable because that's like a year at least to make your own engine, and you gotta yeah. hire like a whole different group of people to build that engine for you. Yeah, it the, the problem yeah. is is it is a clusterfuck in this industry right now, and 
it will only get worse. It will not get better. It will only get worse when it comes to dev time. Well, I mean, I mentioned earlier that I finished the game Disco Elysium, and the funny thing with that game, I don't know if I mentioned it when I talked about it before, but the the creative force of that game, <clears throat> all the people who basically made it what it really is, there's like artists still and such that are left over, but all of the main creative people were like ousted from the company because, so this is a game that talks about, uh, that has a lot of heady dialogue about communism and capital and fascism and the grinding gears of industry and blah 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 and so it was really funny to learn that apparently the money men at their company ousted them from their company and are now like puppeteering the corpse of Disco Elysium and they're claiming they're gonna make a sequel and they're gonna make a Netflix show and all of this shit and it's like all of the people that actually made this happen are gone, yeah. and, and it, it just remind it just that reminds me of the same thing. Like everybody that made your company a thing is like not gonna support you anymore. You know, Unity, and uh, they are they don't care. You know, because John Ricciatello got his fucking golden parachute. Everybody at Unity who didn't who isn't responsible for this, they're gonna get fucked. You know, all the people that didn't get their golden parachute thing. And, uh, yeah. I mean, this is so much worse than Wizards of the Coast, you know? It's fucking embarrassing. Yeah. It's, they They ruined all trust with developers especially, but it's just... Yeah, then, like, that, that's the thing. Some Some developers are all like, hey, this is better. But also, like... I've never seen someone be, like, over the moon happy for this and not have the caveat of, but they fucked up the trust. Like, they fucked yeah. up our trust in them because they really did rug pull that shit. They were just like, hey, uh, just so you know, uh, we're going to bankrupt you in 2024. Well, yeah, it was a complete rug pull. And not only that, there's the whole thing about how they, it is literally just like an insider trading scam. They just decide. I mean, allegedly, it's all around, but they just decided to fucking as if they're gonna fucking come after us. But like, they just decided to tank the value of their company and sell out when they could, and you know, uh, fuck everybody basically. Yeah. And and the thing is, it's it's just going to stop. Like the only thing it's gonna do for them in the long term is stop people from ever wanting to come in to fucking a Unity project because they'll hear yeah, Unity like and just be like, oh no. Not doing that. Yeah, because like at some point I want to make a game, yeah. and I was I was looking at Unity. I had even installed it to test around with it like three days before that. All all this uh, bullshit uh, happened. Uh, by the oh, way, oh yeah. So you're like the guy that tweeted like time to get going. Never mind. You're like that guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Basically, yeah. <laughs> I mean, so oh, I was just I was just like testing it out, looking around, and then immediately. Oh well, sh <laughs> guess I'm not doing that. I think I think I might try out Godot. Hmm? Yeah, I I think Game Maker. If you're not into 3D, if you're just thinking like 2D stuff, yeah, Game 2D... Maker is very viable in a way people don't give people don't give Game Maker the credit that it deserves. Because like yeah, Undertale, it's... Spelunky, both Game Maker. Oh, it's yeah. very easy to make uh, to make games with Game Maker. Like yeah. I have some experience some with that. It's, a, it's, it, it's, also, it's pretty pretty useful. If you just want to make a really quick experience for shit, not not really having to deal with like, you know, making your own mechanics, uh, you know, not really worrying about too much coding, RPG Maker. Yeah, yeah. It's a very specific, limited type of engine, but still. Well, no, I mean, even that, it's like a game maker thing. People kind of. People think of RPG Maker in the same way they think of Game Maker, where it's like, you know, really simple projects with default assets. But there are a lot of really big games that have been made on Game Maker, where you would yeah. look at you would look at them and not realize that they are from that engine, because it is kind of simple. But like, there are scripting tools available, and yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, even besides that, like, you know, that's kind of daunting, and I haven't really ever been able to get too much into it. But like, even something like Blender has like Python scripting available to it, 
and you can you know it's it's easier than ever it can it, it only gets easier with time to learn programming stuff and learn like any kind of like 3d modeling because there's just more tutorials there's more you know easily accessible the the programs get easier to use and stuff so it's like you know i don't know it's di it's disappointing when you know big money business gets in the way of this shit but it's like I don't know, the people that are making Cult of the Lamb or whatever, they're probably just going to make a better version on some other engine. Because, I mean, oh, yeah. hey, ev Unity sucks. I mean, everybody always has to be like, well, Unity's fine because people use it well and blah, blah, blah. But, like, I think we can finally return to just it's, Unity is like the engine of Slender. Yeah. Like, <laughs> we can just meme on Unity forever. Especially for shit they've been pulling. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, what are we at? We're at about an hour. Okay. I don't really have much else to talk about, so do we want to, uh, do we want to talk about who pays the bills? <laughs> we'll, 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 probably, yeah, sure. we'll probably talk about them now. Folks, Pushy Dreams. You know them. We, you, 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 yeah, you love them. You em. love them. If you're, if you're, if you're sane! Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, turn off your minds, relax, and float, uh, downstream, I believe is the lyric. It is not dying, but it is selling, and service is selling, and you know what? Selling is service, and we're here to sell you a service, which is to get real fucking high. Oh yeah, brother. Like Cushy Dreams, <laughs> you... they got everything you need. They got pre-rolls, they got gummies, they got fucking flour in a can. In a can? In a can. Oh, That's shit. futuristic. Oh yeah. Are you saying, Tristan? Oh, I'm sorry. I was just looking at uh, <laughs> I, I was just going down the rabbit hole. But listen, yeah, because you do you want to smoke animal. those? Do you want to smoke those Qui Gon Jin Vietnamese Phillips head pre rolls? Do you want to be floating to the moon on some fucking Zaza speaking Esperanto? Listen, <laughs> you got to go to Cushy Dreams. They got you. And hey, you're not a smoke guy. I get it. Sometimes I cough too. They got fucking gummies. It's like a it's it's like a little gusher, except they're instead of the juice on the inside. It's weird. There's, it's, it's, there's, there's, a, there's a whole lot of THC. Oh, so they have uh, deep within your ancient reptilian brain, you are compelled to buy the gummies. Yes. <laughs> and if you're not a reptilian, or you just don't want gummies, they do have full spectrum, full flavor, full. Power Delta Eight pre rolls and oh, Delta yeah. Nine. Oh, Don't forget Nine. Delta Nine gummies. I mean, and you nine. better believe that you better believe that when they invent in Delta Ten, that they're going to be on that. Shit, they'll probably be on Delta they've... Twelve when Delta Ten. Yeah, on, honestly, they. I, I wouldn't put it past them to get a fucking pre release for Delta Twenty. Hell yeah, that shit'll fucking. <laughs> <laughs> that shit will make you feel like a Biscoff butter. Del yeah. Delta 20 will be better than COVID-19, though, So, or your money back. Yes, or your money back. Or your money back. <laughs> but, of course, if you want to save money and get, of course, really fucking high and help out the channel, go to CushyDreams.com and use code LOUD25 at checkout. Listen, buddy. Listen. I know. I know you're thinking, hmm, you know... I don't really want to get high. I don't care. Go there. <laughs> do it. Yeah. You do it. Do least, it, or else look. I will hurt you. Very. I mean, look. yeah. Take take a take a look. Um, if you can't afford it now, uh, you know, we still got that twenty five percent off. Just oh, yeah. you know, use some of and use that's some of your a Christmas stacking. That is a high. a stacking twenty five percent off. You can use it multiple times. Yep. You know, you go to the not, website. Not, not in one order. But not yeah, you, absolutely. You can, well, obviously not, not in one yet. order. I mean, I guess yeah. not stacking, but it's reusable but it's, it's at the very least. Yeah. You yeah. can get stat. You can get. Oh, you can get your twenty five percent off refills, uh, and you know what? Uh, it helps us out. It helps you out. You get you get weed, you know. And from the boys, they both attest it's good. It's good weed. You're oh, yeah. getting good weed. United States only. That's, that's why uh, and, Claw cannot get it currently. Exactly. Plus I can, only as well. Yes. I'm not able to get it currently, but you know, my boys here, I trust them. They they know what they're talking about. They got they got the good good and, okay. and they're they're 
they're uh, they're definitely uh, they're they're definitely qualified to tell you what to what to smoke. Well, Bane especially. Tristan's yeah. more new to it, and it's been converting him. So. I, I mean, Marilyn, I kind of see it. Listen, listen, you 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 want the real experience? You don't want a pre roll. You don't want a gummy. Get yourself some of that flour. Put oh. that shit in the glass pipe. Blow the Lord's bubbles. Oh fuck yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. while you're while you are fucking your best friend's wife, you need to have <laughs> cushy dreams in your bong yeah, or like, your pipe, whatever makes you more comfortable. You, you know what you do after that? You you send him a care package of cushy dreams with an apology note, and don't say what's in that apology. Don't and also buy him, buy him, yeah, just buy him a Nintendo Switch as well. Yeah, like, just just yeah, no, 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 don't tell him why. Better yeah, go go to your uh, go to your local game store and buy a used Wii U. But you know, uh, hey, hey, make sure you make sure that. it's <laughs> Anthony Birch's Wii U when you yes. do it. Yeah, <laughs> but also make make sure you put some of that cushy dreams in there too, because that'll make him. Yeah. You know, that'll get him so high he'll forget. Because hey, remember look. the Wii U that that guy bought on 4chan that was entirely filled with spiders. Try doing like half and half Wii U and weed. You uh, know, because like if you could fill it entirely with spiders... exactly weed you you could fill it entirely with spiders. You could fill at least half of it with weed, right? And I the mean, Wii U will still work. That, or you could uh, retrofit a broken Dreamcast into a bong. Oh, fuck yeah. Yes. Honestly, given the portableizing community, I could see that actually. Happen. Yeah, honestly, I have a broken Dreamcast. That might be a project down the road, boys. Hell yeah, <laughs> brother. <laughs> but listen, listen. Yes. If you want some top shelf Zaza to disrupt your circadian rhythm, go to cushydreams.com right now. Order all you want. You order too much, don't worry about it. We got a twenty five percent off code. Just enter L O U D two five at checkout. That's loud twenty five. Baby. Loud twenty five. Yeah. Baby, Let's if you go. If you are currently leading, if you are trying to begin a revolution, if you are living somewhere in a bunker and you're waiting for the bombs to fall for you and your countrymen to finally take back what's yours. Get yourself some cushy dreams, because it sounds like that's a lonely life, man. That sounds like it's a very lonely life if you're buried in a bunker somewhere. Yeah. And you don't need that in your existence. You just don't need that. So get yourself some cushy dreams and go outside a little. Smoke yeah. out in the rain. Yeah, man. Smoke and get, well, roll around maybe, in the maybe, mud and get the filth off of you. Maybe maybe not the rain. The rain might put out the, uh, the smoke. But take some take yeah. some edibles and go out in the rain, though. Oh, yeah. yeah. Go, go camping. Go singing camping. in the listen, rain. Listen. It. We didn't even mention this. They got 10 milligram Delta 9. And oh, yeah. if you want something stronger, they got 100 milligram Delta 8. They got the yeah. That's like 10 times the milligram. Shit, don't they? they got yeah, the it's thousands. a whole package. Yeah, yeah a whole pack, a whole pack of 100 milligrams. Oh, that's yeah. good. That's that. I mean, listen. I took a thousand milligrams and I watched the movie Evil Dead, and I oh teleported God. to the end of that movie. I I I somehow retained <laughs> very much of it. Like I could tell you specific scenes, but I don't remember any of it at the same time. It was not from Cushy Dreams, but I will say, get a thousand milligrams if you want to just, you know, the Radiohead song, "How to Disappear Completely." Oh, yeah. CushyDreams.com promo code loud twenty five. That's uh, what I'm saying. I'll, I'll yeah, make a recommendation. Good. I'll make a recommendation by by the thousand milligram blue raspberry pack and then watch Phantasm. Have a good Boy, time, oh, folks. Shit. Yeah. Hell buckle yeah, up, brother. But yeah. All right. With that. Hey, thank you, thank you to Cushy Dreams. Yes. Thank All you. All right. And we're good. All right. Um. I, I was gonna. Sorry, sorry, my internet cut out for a second there. I don't. I. I, heard, I, I the last time I came back to thank you and we're good. <laughs> oh, you're you're fine. We we're just now trying cushy dreams. Ah. Ah. So, um. Yeah. Speaking. Of, I'll get my obligatory COD news out of the way after the read. Figure. <laughs> that's oh, what boy. people want to hear. <laughs> they, they're releasing a bunch of bundles for season six. I'm just gonna talk about the operators and shit. They're doing a spawn crossover. Oh nice. yes. Yeah, and, and also speaking of Evil Dead, they're also doing an Evil Dead crossover. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, and then they're also. Oh wait, doing... hold on. Yeah. Is the last one Skeletor? Not the last one, but Skeletor is one of them. Nice. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah. Because I did see that. There's also a um. There's a both. It's like a reskin of one weapon and then a new weapon that's exclusive to a bundle, but it also doesn't do a lot of damage. It's it's weird. But a Doom crossover bundle with a chainsaw and double barrel shotgun. Ooh. Yeah. 
See, here's the thing. I kind of don't care because the one time I played Warzone, I liked it, yeah. but it was the call. Of, it was the uh, it was the Godzilla mode. Yeah, and they don't have that anymore. They, I really like that mode. They're going to have um, this year a. There's zombies and ghosts in uh, Warzone this year. Oh, oh like shit. for October? For October. Okay. That's why we're getting all these weird well, bundles. They're just going goofy with it. I mean, hey, I mean, it, maybe even Fortnite might have something cool. Oh, for, yeah. yeah. I, I think the rumor... I have Fortnite installed on my PS5 again. I've been meaning to play it again because I actually do enjoy playing it. But, uh, honestly, uh... I'd be down. I fucking... I haven't played it in a tiny bit, but... Yeah. Bringing it back to Doctor Who for a second. I'm mad at Fortnite. <laughs> oh, yeah, about the Doctor Who rumor. Yeah, they've... Apparently. Now, I'm not sure if this is true or not, but, you know, it comes from a reputable source. Yes. Uh, the Doctor Who collaboration for Fortnite was postponed in favor of Lego. E- Lego? What, like, generic Lego, Lego man? Well, they, they I might, guess. They might be yeah. doing, like, a full... Because well, they did one recently with uh, Jujutsu Kaisen, which um, I hope I pronounced that right. But uh, they they did that and it added like new moves that you can pick up, like a weapon that does the does the moves. Well, they're and also shit. they're also doing a fucking Netflix One Piece Fortnite crossover. Oh shit! Are they? Which is I think unless it was fake. Because I got trolled when I heard that fucking uh, Markiplier was playing Akiyama in the new game. So, okay. like, anything is possible. But, I could have been trolled. Well, that, but seemed, I, I, that seemed, like, more on the level than most. Because fucking, uh, what's his name, is Kiryu. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, Young Ye. Which, I don't know why I didn't remember, but... Yeah. Man, I gotta say, by the way, after seeing the re- I guess we should talk a little bit about that. We haven't, um, I don't think we covered that. I think we have, either. The, the Yakuza, the RGG Summit that happened, the, the Direct. Yeah. I didn't um, watch much of it, but I did see the thing. The big there's thing. There's the thing. I didn't really see much re- relating to anything other than Yakuza 8. Um, or like a dragon eight, whatever. I'm gonna continue. We're I think we're all just yeah. I think everybody as a society is gonna continue to interchangeably use the word yakuza. But yeah, yeah. Uh, I saw the trailers for that, the gameplay stuff, and um, and the story stuff, and the fact that fucking Young Ye, twenty something year old guy my age, Young Ye, is going to be. Playing a like sixty year old man. Spoilers: three, two, one. Who is dying of cancer? Yeah, is so bad and dumb, and I feel really bad for him because I'm sure he's a fine voice actor, but yeah, my he's... god, he will not do a good job, and he can't. I'm he's pretty I'm good gonna... as um, Pucci and uh, JoJo Part Six, the main villain. He's okay. pretty good as him. I've, and, I've heard a lot of people didn't like him as Gucci, key. but... I liked yeah. him. He was fine. But like, this is just bad casting. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, they put cause... Pro ZD in Lost Judgment, and he's one of my favorite characters in that game. He plays nice. like a fucking insane, deranged uh, uh, Wolverine dude who becomes your, like... Um, your, you, you're, you become his senpai, essentially. Um... Huh. And uh, it's it's a fun time, um, but yeah, they have him in that. They could have had Young playing like, I mean, they could have even just had him play Ichiban. I like the guy who played him in the in the English dub, but like, if they wanted to have him in a main role, have him play the younger guy. It doesn't yeah. make any fucking sense to have this guy playing a dude who's like double his age. I don't. I mean, more than double his age. It's insane. <laughs> For me, the big thing is that. Kiryu isn't just gruff, gravelly man. He's not like, I'm gonna fight you. No, he's a crooning, like, lounge singer. And also, sometimes he just, he just, like, talks like a guy. Yeah. Like, he, sometimes he's just like, hey, how are you doing? (laughs) My name's Kiryu. Yeah. Like, he's, he, he, he has that, like, uh, Kuroda has that range to like go between all of those like different like vibes. I mean, I and... don't want to give him I don't want to give that's... him 
that's the thing. I haven't seen that from y'all. Yeah. I, I, I hope I'm wrong. I really, really hope that he's good. I'd love it to be. I love him to be good. Yeah. But from everything I've seen, he's he just sounds mad that he got a fucking he got the wrong bag with his fucking Fallout seventy six pre order. You know. It's... Yeah. I mean, like, there's a certain anime voice that all the dub people kind of do, um, and it's it's annoying. I don't want to give Kuroda too much credit as Kiryu. He's great, obviously, but, like, you tend to notice when you play the games, he has, like, maybe two or three different modes. Like, he'll be tough guy mode, he'll be anguished screaming mode, or he'll be, like, just gener general talking mode. Or maybe the the bonus fourth mode, which is, like, funny uh, side story where he's, like, dancing or something. And he's um, just like, oh, God, please just kill me now. Yeah, he's got, like, whatever, like, when he's Ono Michio or something, that's, like, bonus fourth mode. So there's not, oh, like... Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! There's not too much... There's not, like, too much... Like, I don't know. I don't speak Japanese, so I can't really critique his performance. But as a Westerner, I hear it, and I'm like, yeah, I don't know. He he definitely... I mean, like, he. I want to say he overacts, too, but it's like, the game definitely warrants it. It's a very melodramatic, silly series. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, you know, it's fair. Uh, I don't know. Young is, is probably not going to do a great job. The Yakuza 7, he had... Um, uh, he was dubbed by the guy who did him in the PS2, the original dub, yeah. Daryl Carrillo, who I also... That was, that was cool. That was a nice little throw there. I thought, well, I thought it was cool that they brought him back when it was the, I mean, I guess spoilers for Seven, there is the scene where he shows up in the Tojo HQ, and that was great, and I'm like, you know, that's fine, have a little throwback. But then yeah. he continues to be part of the story in a big way as it goes on, and I'm like, this guy is not great as Kiryu. Uh, he's not. He was he's not that best, bad. But he's yeah. I he grew on me. I wound up liking him a lot more than I did at the start, and he's way better than in the first game because he's directed better. He he's actually directed to 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 talk like Kiryu, like the character, as opposed yeah. to, like, whatever was happening in that dub. Yeah, they, 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 uh, gave him, the first game. they gave him shit to do. I was actually disappointed by Matt Mercer's Majima. It was just very... It was just generic guy pretending to be Majima. It wasn't anything interesting. You, you can't really bring the, um... What is it? Uh, God, what's his... Mar Mark Hamill. You can't bring the Mark Hamill energy, necessarily. Stupid! Forget you can't you can't you know <laughs> channel that, but uh, I don't know. It was a it was unfortunate. I've heard a lot of people say that they're not even going to try the dub or whatever, and I'm like, I don't know. The game's set in Hawaii. Like it kind of feels like you would want Danny Trejo is in it. Like yeah. Danny Trejo's fucking face is 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 in the game, and he's playing it in the dub. So like that's I, I don't really know. Fucking cool. It's really cool, but also it's just a shame that, like, legitimately it's a shame that I'm going to have to hear Yongye as Kiryu. I don't want to have to say that, because I like him, but, like, he's, it's going to ruin the game. He can't do it. He just can't. I'm, I'm going to hold out hope. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I'm I'm holding out for a miracle. I, I, I'll tell you this, personally, I'm, I'm, Probably going to finish um, Judgment and Lost Judgment before I play, like at least play before eight. But I, I kind of have sent myself to the Judgment games now, you know. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. There's other stuff too. I finished, you I know? finished a first Judgment one, but I haven't finished a second, and I kind of wanted to replay. Lost yeah. Judgment is good. It's it's really good. It's better in a lot of ways. I think the story, well. The story's really interesting in Lost Judgment. I don't know, Tristan. How much do you care or know about Lost Judgment spoilers and stuff? Like we won't get I, too much into it. But... I, I would prefer to remain as unspoiled as possible for Seven Judgment, Lost Judgment, and any future games. Okay, yes. understandable. Don't have the money for the Judgment games, and I have Seven, but it runs like ass on my PC. It is uh, rough. Yeah. Sorry for sorry if I spoiled any of those curious stuff. Uh, seven, I mean. But... All, all, all I, all I like, all that was spoiled was that he continues to play a role in the story after he shows right, up. Right, right. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Um, 
The judgment, uh, the first game, people had some issues with the combat. I think I like the story a little more. It's like on par with Yakuza 1 for me in terms of like tight story execution. But then Lost Judgment has some really interesting themes that I wasn't expecting to see done in a, an RGG studio game. And it, it makes up the majority of the game is what it's about. Uh, and there's a lot of stuff around it that I think is, is really interesting. So I really like both of those games. Yeah, those are uh, those are some some of the best games that RGG Studios ever made. Nice. Man, yeah, there were a few things that were announced during Tokyo Game Show, and I was... Oh, wait, 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 hang on. Also, the Yakuza TV series, or the Yakuza movie that was being made is being turned into a TV series, and they have cast Kiryu and Nishiki. Oh shit! Honest, honestly, I think yeah, because it works better as a TV series. Oh, absolutely! Because like, I mean, the, each, every each game fucking, would, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Each game is broken up into just around the amount the amount of parts that would be a season of a show. Yeah, no, absolutely. Like, the best, and like each chapter is one episode. It's and and even like you could literally just make a series of Yakuza One where each chapter is one episode, and it would be perfectly yeah. fine. Honestly, like, most, like, because most video game movies that are, like, the ones we all remember are things that are just completely different from the games, like Sonic. I, I think it's wildly yeah. different, but I mean, it's it pretty captures that, but it it's, captures it's that it's tone. Still, yeah, yeah. And uh, Yakuza TV series also is going to be Japanese language. It's not, people were thinking it was going to be, like, a Hollywood production I mean, I with Chris probably, Pratt as Kiryu or something. They'll but, probably dub it, though, at least. <laughs> Oh yeah, I mean, which, I'm assuming. But which here's the question: yeah. Well, do you, do you think that Young A will be the Kiryu in the TV show in the dub? It? I doubt it. No, not for a big budget. If it's, I don't know what network. Like, I don't know if it's going to be on Netflix or what it's going to be on. In the West, um, it'll probably be on. It'll probably be on Netflix. Yeah, they would probably want to go with like a bigger actor, but I don't know. I, I don't know. That's interesting. It's very because in there already is the Yakuza movie by Takashi Miike. Um, yeah. God, I'm which is about like that apparently not great, and they spend a weird amount of time on like characters that aren't in the game. Yeah. Like this, like couple that's like robbing a store or something. I don't know what the hell is happening with them. I don't remember. But uh, it does have like Kiryu. Majima has the the eye patch on the wrong eye. <laughs> and um <laughs> oh that's great yeah but other oh, than that God. like they get they get the blue heat aura happening in the fight with nishikiyama a lot of stuff has changed but uh you know kiryu looks all right in the suit there's also like a stage play too so they're not unused to to doing this I, especially if they're doing yakuza one with nishiki i guess if i don't know if it's known yet if it's going to be one or if it's going to be um, zero potentially, because they have Kiryu and Nishiki uh, cast, so it could kind of be either. I mean, it I makes. I guess I would assume that it's one. It it kind of makes sense to start with zero though, or at least like take yeah. some zero and. I mean, people love zero. That's like the best. That's like everybody's favorite oh, game. Oh, yeah. so zero that would be... is zero is honestly like number. It's probably number one or number two for me in the series. I mean, I would really... It's tough for me, because I would really hope for them to, like we said, to kind of stick faithfully to the episodic structure of the games. But then I'm like, I don't know. Then it's just the game. Just play the fucking video game. Because I'm over here like, what would they, what would they yeah. do? Would they do, like, Yakuza 1 story, but with, like, flashbacks to the Zero storyline? That would be unsatisfying. And then that would take away from the time that's needed for Z one's storyline you know um I, I, so it would be kind of kind of fucked either way really i think they could kind of do like a if you've seen like the last of a series where they kind of like some things follow the exact beats and sometimes they'll kind of like pivot off a little bit now like yeah bring in a little side thing that maybe you were kind of you kind of heard about in the games I mean, the thing is, is this is going to be a Japanese show, too, so I would assume that it's going to follow the Japanese style of, like, anime adaptations and live action, which is, they tend to be really uh, faithful, you True. know, so it would probably be a pretty faithful 
redo of like the PS2, the first game. You know, if I had to guess, anyway, I don't know. I'd be excited, to but see it's it. interesting. Yeah, I think it's uh, it's promising to some degree, and that's like I guess the next step in Sega's cinematic universe thing they're trying to do. Yeah, which ah, uh, I can't wait until the fucking until the crossover. <laughs> between Sonic and Kiryu. I mean... Good God. Well, they'll probably have Sonic exist in the same world, but good God, if they show up on screen together, that would be awful. It would be kind of rough. It'd be awful, but in, like, the best way. Well, yeah. I mean, what else could they even do? I guess, like, a Persona movie, or SMT in some way, there... they could maybe do. They, they did... They did the three film, the three animated films for uh, Persona Three. I think it was four. All the all the seasons. I think there were four. Thought, and then there were like TV shows and and movies and stuff for the other yeah four like and anime five. and everything. Yeah. Um. There's also been li- um uh, stage plays for, I think four and five and maybe three as well. Yeah. But um. Yeah. I would be. I would definitely see them do that. But like outside of that, it's like, I don't know. What are they gonna make? Like a Jet Set Radio movie or something? I mean, like, what the well, fuck? They, they honestly yeah. probably could. I mean, anything that they would do would be like weird. Because okay, Sonic, right? Okay, yeah. there's enough games where Sonic is interacting with humans and stuff that you can kind of turn that into a movie, and that's what they did basically. And like. Yakuza, obviously, that makes sense. Maybe, like, Total War? What else does Sega... Like, everything else, I'm like, it, okay, a crazy taxi movie. This would have to be some fucking insane shit where just they let a, a, a director run wild and just have taxi a movie. driver? I mean... Yeah, like, it's just taxi... <laughs> I, I am totally, oh god! I'm it's totally it's down taxi for... driver, but it has like the aesthetic of like yeah 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 yeah. Like, <laughs> just honestly, a, a that very, sounds very heavily Y two K fucking. Taxi <laughs> that sounds fucking yeah, awesome. Yeah, with Pizza Hut product placement and shit. Dude, he's fucking. <laughs> set in, yeah. set for he, he's dropping off something at Blockbuster before he goes to shoot somebody. <laughs> Oh god. We can, oh, well, now that know, has to be the movie. <laughs> you know, I might cut this out and we might just start writing this. Writer strike's almost over. <laughs> uh, let him steal it if it's Se- good enough. Se- Sega's desperate. <laughs> One phone call. We can get this made in like three weeks. Okay, Alex Kid movie, alright? He does crack. Yeah. That's Alex so Kid so shoots so up heroin. That's first the miracle time. world. The miracle world is him <laughs> tripping on crack. Yeah. Oh no, no, it's heroin. It's, it's the whole the whole film. Like it ends with a shot of him like dead in a crack house, <laughs> while two homeless people are fucking. Up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> and the two homeless people are the protagonists of Fantasy Star Four, and that's another movie. Uh, honestly, Actually, yeah, you know, Fantasy Star could be a, ser- uh, yeah. a series or a movie or something. Yeah, so, That's so, another one. someone call Sega. We we have ideas. Uh, yes, hello, Mr. Sega Jonsson. Yeah, look, it'll <laughs> be mean, a little obscure, but we'll do it for cheap. There's, like, I mean, I, we joke, but, like, I'm imagining in my head, like, a very artistic, like, Nights into Dreams sort of movie where... You know, there's not a lot of dialogue or anything. It's just like a weird fantasia kind of thing, but with nights into dreams, or like they have some really properties cool. like that, like like fantasy zone or whatever, where I could I could see that. But I, mean, I know they're trying to do like a Sega Cinematic Universe, and I I know that that won't happen. So yeah. I'm genuinely like, what will? Happen? <laughs> it's gonna be Sonic, Yakuza, maybe Persona, and I fucking don't know. Streets of Rage, who knows? I mean, like. The the idea, I mean, honestly, Fantasy Star could work as a fucking yeah, a great that one's film possible. franchise. They just never did yeah. anything with it. Yeah, I mean, that's got name Shame. recognition and everything. I mean, there's a lot of series, though, where it's like, you could have done something with it. Like, Star Ocean, that's also one where... Like, I think back on it, I'm like, you could well, have made a... square. Yeah, well, I mean, like, they could have made a fucking franchise out of those for films. They didn't do shit. Star Ocean can't even manage to make a good video game, let alone fucking I, adaptation. I will Damn. defend a couple of them. I'd have to replay Which some ones? Of them. I'd have to replay some of them, but I would... I, I didn't think that Divine Force was that bad. The one that just okay, came out recently. I have the... 
Yeah, I have that installed. I haven't played it yet. Uh, I, I, I I fucking I like I cannot I cannot stand the, most of that series because they almost all do this thing where it starts on like a space station or some futuristic place, and then you get like marooned on shitty medieval sword mud planet with like spiders as enemies and i'm like why am i not just playing final fantasy if you are just gonna put me on scum planet and that's like the entire fucking star ocean one the fucking whole game as far as i played until i stopped playing like 20 hours in was just this shitty planet and i'm like what happened to this being a space game dude yeah, uh, and all of all of them that I played are like that. So I'm I'm just not I'm not looking forward to fucking. That's a thing. That's Maybe a thing it'll you surprise to, me. That's a thing you kind of have to deal with that series. I'm just gonna warn you now. It it looks like a Star Trek RPG, like Japanese Star Trek RPG, and it super isn't, and it's a lie. I hate it. Um, there there is a demo for they're, they're making a new because they're doing the HD 2D thing. Square is. Oh yeah, um, they're doing a remake of, of it, Second yeah. Story. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm glad they're doing more of that. Yeah, I am too. I fucking yeah. love the HD2D uh, style. It's... A lot of games have been used. I think even non-Square games have been using it. Yeah, um, it's been licensed out. I've been seeing like indie games using it. There were like a few actually. I think multiple oh, yeah. uh, at the Nintendo uh, the Nintendo Direct that happened like a couple weeks ago i i will recommend all of hd 2 d i'll recommend to everyone but if you haven't played it yet pick up live alive it was yeah uh, live alive i've got i gotta play that i, I played the original it was a long time ago oh yeah i, I had like live torrented alive. versions I gotta, I gotta try out the remake there is also the ser- the live alive adjacent series the the uh saga which yeah. has like a new game coming out and there's been ports and stuff and I don't know, Saga's a really spotty series where there's, like, two games out of, like, eight or something that are actually any good. But, um, you know, there's a few that are interesting, and they're all the same kind of, like, different people across the planet have their own story and kind of converge, which is which is pretty fun. Oh, yeah. Plus, yeah, I, I mean, we're also, I think Octopath Traveler 2 is coming to Xbox next year. That's also something that was announced. Xbox and uh, I'm pretty sure PC. I think so, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I I forget if they launched on Switch only or Switch it was, and PC. It was Switch and well, I know it was Switch and PS5 for Octopath Two. Is is Triangle Strategy like multiplat? Was that I, out I, yet? I or? think it's multiplat, but I should check. I don't know what that's on. Let me check on Steam. I don't care that much about that one because I don't really play like strategy stuff. But yeah. Octopath, I might wind up. Playing. Triangle Strategy is on Steam now. I don't, I don't know if it launched. It didn't yep. launch that way, but it came to Steam in October. Mm. I liked cool. it from the demo. I didn't play it past that. I didn't hear, I didn't hear too much about it. Yeah, um, yeah. Octopath Traveler two, Dragon Quest three is getting an HD two D remake also. Yeah, that's that's one that's really interesting because that game is uh, some of the Dragon Quests were real innovative and interesting for their time, and you don't really look at it look look at them that way because they're like just simple SNES games, but like they have whole, a whole. I don't. Know, I think three is like a hundred hour fucking game or something. It it's crazy long from what I remember. It's not as long as seven. That's the oh, insane yeah. length one. That's like two hundred hours long to finish the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, and Dragon Quest, the, the next big one should be coming out sometime. Yeah, twelve. It's um, it was announced like I don't know, twenty twenty two or, or like no, 2020, like twenty maybe twenty twenty. I think it was. Yeah, it was a few years ago. Which. COVID probably hampered it for a bit, but it's like, yeah, fuck, please come out. But at this point, it's it's hard to even, I don't know, I think we're good without another Dragon Quest when there's like, have you guys seen the beginnings of 2023 where it's like, oh god, yeah, the fucking one week where it's or 2024. Final Fantasy, 2024, Final Fantasy 7 Remake 2, Persona 3 Reload, Yep. Uh, the Suicide Squad game, Tekken 8, yeah. and all of these are coming out, I think, in the same week, and there's, like, four or five other ones as well that are huge. Yeah, um, January... In one week. 
January is the start of a pickup where it's Alone of the Dark and um, Prince of Persia, then another code, which is Trace Memory. Then yeah. fucking like a Dragon Infinite Wealth and Tekken 8 on the same goddamn day. Oh yeah, Yakuza 8 also, Jesus Christ. Yep, Persona 3 Reload and Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League on the same fucking day. Uh, yeah, Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth, Princess Peach Showtime in March, and then everything else is still like kind of slated for coming in the first little bit. It's like, man, everything is fucking coming out just too close to each other. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, we thought this year alone was packed, but the fucking first month, second month of 2024 already has, like, three Game of the Year contenders. Oh, yeah, and then there's stuff that's slated for, like, the first quarter, um... So, yeah, big things slated for first quarter of the year. Stalker 2, Shadow of Chernobyl, uh, the Clock Tower remake, um, Multiverses Wait. full release. Huh. They're, calling, huh. they're, calling, huh. they're calling Stalker 2, Shadow of Chernobyl? Again? Um, yeah. Fuck, yeah, I, no, I, got, I fucked it up. Heart of Chernobyl. My bad. Oh, okay. Oh. All right. All okay. Right, all right. Mentally, I thought I was going insane. You're good. No, <laughs> mentally, I just, I saw the words and replaced them in my head with Oh hey! Oh, understandable. Yeah, I got a I got a stunning take. By the way, I played a little bit of Stalker, and um, it was kind of janky. Uh, that's, oh that's yeah, my take. that's 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 the fun of it. Right. Yeah, no, I know. It's 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 Euro Jank the video game. It's, it's like pure, that. It's pure jank. That and Hitman One, which nobody ever needs to play. So yeah. just play that. Yeah. Go pl play. Um, which one? What's what's one that's basically a remake of Hitman One to pay attention? Contracts, which Contracts. is the first, the first good Hitman game. Don't play the second one; it's terrible. Yeah, Don't listen just, to anyone. What? Well, Hitman Two. Oh, it sucks. Sucks. It's fantastic. No, it sucks. They see you through walls and shit in that. You do have to. What? I don't know. You, you have play? to handle with some bugs. I played the PS2 version and the Xbox 360 re-release, where they will literally see you through walls and a disguise and alert the entire level, and I just couldn't deal with it. I don't know if it was just me walking too fast or what the fuck the deal was, but then I played Contracts, which is like the same engine and everything, and I was on the 360 version, and it was just fine, and it was great, and I loved it. <laughs> so, yeah, I, very I strange. I, play, I played it on GameCube, and it was fine. On GameCube, GameCube no less. Yeah, GameCube's usually GameCube's usually the one that's not quite yeah, as the, good. The Jedi Knight remake or whatever, the port. Yeah. yeah. Oh shit, I should play that. <laughs> oh don't i tried it's it i mean i you know what, what? It, for for does curiosity it aim, does it aim with the c stick i think so but like That's the resolution really is so bad that it's hard to deal with oh. uh i kind of want to try the hitman 2 on gamecube now now i'm just curious damn i gotta i, like I gotta it. drag out my uh my uh my wii god no uh, what you gotta do is you gotta get yourself a wii u and then hack it hack the fuck out of it do not I buy could. anything officially on the Wii U. It's not like you fucking <laughs> can anyway. <laughs> Hack it. Yeah. Hack it. Put you put yourself on 120 gigabyte uh, uh, USB stick in the back. Get yourself another 120 gigabyte uh, SD card for the front. You're good to go. Now, is it the same process to hack a Wii U that it is for the Wii, or is it because it, it's, it's Wii mode, right? You, well, it's pretty easy now. No, no, no. Now. You can you can hack a Wii U like for real by just going to the browser. And go oh, to like a nice. specific site. Oh, we're with full like, on 3DS territory. Oh yeah, yeah. You, have to, you have to have like specific stuff on your SD card, and you have to go to a site. And sometimes it doesn't work, but all you have to do is just reboot your Wii U. And I'm it. gonna buy a Wii U. You have convinced me to uh, finally, <laughs> finally, <laughs> for the first time ever, someone has said I'm gonna buy a Wii U. I'm gonna buy a <laughs> other <laughs> than Scott the Woz. Well, yeah. Well, he, that that's just his morning ritual. He says, his thing oh, is, well, I'm gonna buy every Wii U. It's another day. Time to buy another Wii U. I gotta buy one before he buys all of them. Slowly, so. slowly, like getting every Wii U known to man. I respect it. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather get that than a. Because I've been thinking maybe a PS Vita, but like, I don't know. I, mean, I don't really have much much interest. The Vita is a nice little console, but 
There's a couple of poor, there's a couple of exclusives I, like the I'm, the Katamari game yeah. on Vita. I'm gonna be 100 percent honest. Wait until emulation gets better and just emulate. Is it. there any? Has there been any news on that? Because what's crazy there's, is the fucking is a the, emulator. I think the PSP emulation has been great since like the PSP was still fucking happening. I think yeah, like <laughs> or like early Vita era was yeah. when PPSSPP took off. And it's just been great since then. And people, I remember when that emulator first came out, people were like, how is this thing? Like, even me, my computer was such shit and I could run PSP games fine. And I'm like, how is this fine? What the fuck? They had, like, some wizardry in that emulator. Um, okay. Not that we would ever condone piracy, by the yeah, way. I would, of course, I would, of course. I would never. Of course. Never. Um, uh, apparently... I condone piracy. Fuck it. <laughs> oh, man. Um, the Vita, the Vita 3K project has 55% uh, playable start to finish with performance, uh, playable performance and no game breaking glitches. It's the best and only Vita emulator for PC and Android. Um, there is a oh. Switch compatibility later that runs some Vita applications natively. However, it's in early development, so... Yeah, turning your Switch into a Vita emulator would be the ultimate thing, really. Or uh, or Steam, Steam Deck, Deck, I guess. Steam uh, Deck, ROG Ally, one of those. Well, but you don't have the um, you don't have the touchpad thing in the back, though. That's uh, the shame of it. You could emulate that, though. Uh, I suppose so. Yeah, because it does I have a touchscreen on the front. Really... I mean, yeah, you you can you, you can, can emulate fucking uh, like the Wii Remote Shake and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, I want to say how many games use the touchpad, but I'm assuming the fucking Katamari game does, so that's the only game I need, I, really. I think it does, you know, at the very least it does use, like, the back touchpad or something, probably, because it's Katamari game. Yeah, like, the front touch screen, that's fine. The back touchpad, that's gonna be an issue. That yeah. sucks. Yeah. I need to just find somebody who will rent me a PS Vita. <laughs> I have a PS Vita, I just don't know where the fuck it is. Oh, dang. Yeah, it's... He lost it. It's in a box somewhere. I've I've moved a couple times since then. Um, I'm trying to find here... Uh, where'd it go? Oh, yeah, um... Speaking of Fortnite, we brought that up earlier. Uh, some people may be able to get a refund from an FTC settlement if you live in the United States and were a victim of unwanted purchases between 2017 and 2022. You may be able to get some money. Go look into it, folks. What if I have mesothelioma? I'm almost certain Epic Games caused that. You could probably get something out of this. Oh, I wouldn't nice. put it fucking past them. You know, honestly... Yeah. Misothelioma is actually a, an Epic Game Store exclusive. Tim, so. I saw Tim Sweeney got in a fight with, um, I think Dave Orshi or Orshai, the, the Dusk guy. Mm. Yeah, hold on here. Let me... Fuck, fuck! I know, Who's I know Tim his name. Sweeney again. Uh, the, the head of Epic. Um, yeah, he, he's oh, the right, guy right, who right. he's the guy who bought your pirated copy of whatever the fuck. Yeah, I'm trying to find. Nice. Dave Oshri, Oshri. Let me see if I can find this fucking tweet. It'll, it'll, it'll take a second. Um, yeah, no, fucking somebody ran like rammed his ass on Twitter. Here we go. Here oh, we go. His ass got rammed, huh? David Szymanski, the Dusk developer. Uh, uh -huh. He quote tweeted. Um, he quote tweeted someone who quote tweeted someone else. I'm not gonna read that quote tweet. I'll read his tweet. Uh, unpopular opinion. I'd rather ha I'd rather pay thirty percent to Valve and put up with their de facto monopoly than help Epic work towards their own very obviously desired monopoly. Epic has raised numerous red flags over the years. If they're a volatile, aggressive company, who will turn whatever resources they have towards fighting genuine or perceived competitors, be it money, fans, or ideo ideological support. Maybe they're ideologically motivated. Maybe they're just good at disguising business moves as ideology. Neither is trustworthy, in my opinion. Ideological business motiv motivations are only good as the ideology isn't toxic. And then some uh, random person here asked, Sorry to ask, I'm not too familiar with the situation. What do you mean by them waging an ideological war and all? <clears throat> and then uh, David says here, Tim Sweeney is very vocal about making uh, about Epic making certain decisions for ideological reasons, like fighting Apple, bickering with Unity, undercutting Steam's revenue share, etc. Uh, then Tim Sweeney replied, Um... Uh, 
these are basic non-political American principles I'm advocating for, such as free markets and fair competition versus allowing monopolies in one market like phones to crush competitors in other markets like stores and payments. Uh, then David replies, Tim, I have immense respect for work you've done over your career and what you've accomplished, but I simply do not believe those are the reasons behind the actions as much as their convenient justification for the actions. Furthermore, my stance is seen above is that these are genuinely the motivate. That if these are genuinely the motivations behind Epic's decisions, I don't see that as any more safe or reliable. Uh, a company that pursues money can be predicted. A company that fights for ideology, much less so. But frankly, I have no guarantee as a developer that either Epic Game Store or the Unreal Engine uh, or anything made of it won't be leveraged for some future American value battle for you to wage, given Epic's history of leveraging assets for ideological battles. Buckle well, up. This, just to... this will be important just in a minute. To... Sorry. Oh, just a quick reminder, everybody, that Planned Parenthood um, and what was the Children's Hospitals of America or whatever, those are both yeah. very oh, political, by nature, very political uh, charities, so we can't uh, support them. I, I don't support any charity. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I spit on the concept, frankly. Exactly. I mean, charity my wallet, of course. But... Well, yes, obviously, yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Loud equals funny on Patreon, everybody. Please. Yes, yes. Uh, currently, as I'm recording, the the whole uncut early version of GTA episode is there. So yeah. Oh nice. Yes. Um, so Tim Tim then replied because I want to get to the the final reply from David here. That's that's the point I want to get to. It just there's a long winded aspect to it here. Uh, these are principles we've held all along from the shareware days to the present and argued for all of them in our dealings with platform makers. In private, that was effective in public where necessary. No strange ideology or isms here. And I will note, before I read this next reply, there was no response to this reply afterwards. Um, would you be willing to return Unreal Gold to all storefronts in the name of a free market then? No reply. <laughs> I mean... Yep. What like f release it for free? Well, no, re-release it. It's no, been like, delisted for yeah, everything. Release it back on, yeah. Oh. Release it back on fucking platforms. Yeah. Well, that Do is I kind have of unreal a, gold. I think that's kind of unrelated, but that is valid. But yeah. but it's, remind, yeah, it's, it reminds it's like me of the thing. Right into them. Yeah, it reminds oh. me of the thing we mentioned last week. I think with um, Xbox, uh, you know, trying to promote like. You don't need discs. You don't need physical media. Use Game Pass, and one of the Talk games they were showing in a binder that you no longer need was Jet Set Radio Future, which is not playable on Game Pass or purchasable yeah. by any means through like the Xbox Store. Which okay, so I do not have Unreal Gold. I have regular, but still, hey, yeah, hey. physical games. <laughs> I he, here's here's I the think thing. I I'm, have Unreal on my wait. Hang on, I have it on Steam, don't I? Unreal Gold. Yeah, I do. Nice. I guess sometime before 2016, they uh, they didn't they, before they unlisted it. Yeah. yeah. But here's the thing, <sighs> I I think business wise, like we I I said it at the end of the last episode when I added that onto the one, but. People have to buy physical media or it will go away. And the sad thing is, people aren't buying it. Yeah. I mean, I, I try well, to I buy mean, as much as I can, but... I mean... Uh, Business-wise, I, I will say that I don't even... Because Epic Games makes Fortnite. Yep. And, you know, in discussing all of this, Epic Games, you know, one of the things that I realized is, like, they don't... They don't even have Jazz Jackrabbit representation in Fortnite, man. Like, I'm not oh, yeah. even asking for a new game. I'm just saying, let me play as him in Fortnite at least. But you're not even giving okay. me that. So, like, you can really, they could just fuck off, it, frankly. It, honest to God, you think that they would probably just leverage all these old IPs and be like, fuck it. Especially, yeah. especially if a Fortnite creator, they could have done... Dude, okay, do you guys remember Project Spark? Yes. Yeah. Hey. Barely. Yeah. I have to grab my physical. I remember that was that was the thing that was going to revitalize Conquer along with Young Conquer, which was going to be an AR game with a horrible, that. disfigured Conquer that looked yeah. like a fucking nightmare. Which, hey, that version is still playable if you have a fucking Hololens. 
which that fucking young conquer young looked Con- like I it was made of. I, I, it looked I like didn't it was even made know of they released the Hololens. Yeah, well, it, oh, I didn't wait, even know that, that was a real thing that came out. Yeah, Hololens, Hololens came wait, out. That came out. Well, it, oh. it, it came out in a developer sense because you could you can buy the developer thing. Hold on here. Okay, I gotta see which YouTuber made a video that's two hours long about the Hololens. Hang on. <laughs> Um, uh, well, Upload VR has a review. Yeah, no, Hololens not a lot too. of people. I guess yeah, it's an AR heads- headset thing. Yeah. yeah, you guys wouldn't happen to have three thousand five hundred dollars lying around, would you? <laughs> no, if I, I did, I'd have a better PC and I could and play I, the fucking Judgment games. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably give it to Apple for their fucking headset yeah. rather than a Hololens. The 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 zoom of headsets. I think I'm fucking good. Uh, I mean, I think both of these are gonna be a fucking zoom of headsets. I, I mean, they're they're better than Google Glass was. I guess I don't even think don't Google Glass was that. a real thing that actually happened. Well, it, it, Google well, it Glass did was apparently Google Glass was apparently kind of useful. People liked yeah. Google Glass here, in retrospect. Here, I remember hearing that. I can say this because I. I, I don't I don't know if I can describe a person. The guy's dead now, but I did try out his uh, Google glasses way before he died. Don't don't worry about that. But um, <laughs> no, you took his you took yeah, his Google glasses. I took glasses his Google glasses. Corpse. You had to rinse them in vinegar and hot water. Exactly. Yeah, get rid of the death smell. Couldn't yeah. get it clean. <laughs> Couldn't get it clean. No, but um, yeah, it it was neat. It just the problem was. It was so out of the way you'd get distracted trying to look at it. So if you were if you were driving and tried to use it, good fucking luck. <laughs> yeah, it's it was a bad idea. I didn't like it. I like the idea of it. It just it was so early in the tech that releasing I mean, it was a bad idea. I'm a lot more interested by AR than I am by VR because that seems way more. Yeah. I don't know, I'm imagining, like, a little thing you clip on next to your temple or whatever, and it, like, projects out a fucking AR thing, and my thing is, has always been, there was, um, in The Sims, I, in The Sims, um, The Sims busting out on GameCube and PS2, they had this, like, laser fucking video game machine that you could buy that was like max oh, yeah. fun for your sims and it was like a holographic video game machine that projected like a three-dimensional field and i've never seen something like that and i just wish that that could exist i wish that we could get to a point of like interacting three-dimensionally and walking around inside of our projected video game world instead so of like, holodeck pretty much essentially yes yeah I think that would be pretty cool instead of having to wear some stupid fucking helmet thing or whatever, like look at a screen. That's fine. It's it's interesting in its own way, but it's like the advanced version of a fucking one of those like uh, viewmaster things from the 30s, you know. It's not that it's not that impressive. I mean, the Vision Pro probably looks like the best take on that so far. Apple's new one yeah, if I could get one fucking falling out of a truck or something, maybe, but it's <laughs> yeah. like $5,000. Yeah. So, uh, the, the rumor from a lot of the trusted, like, Apple sources are, um, the one coming out next year will be the one that's made for developers, that's gonna be the, the Vision Pro. And then supposedly there's going to be a retail friendly model, which knowing Apple, probably about 700 but retail friendly model of It'll be called like Apple Vision, or probably just Apple Vision. Oh God! Which, I mean, hey, if they can make AR work with those kind of like with what they're doing with it, and it seems like it is working from like the developer units that are out. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It's so expensive, and yeah, it's it's not anything it's I'm gonna so... get anytime soon. It's so not like it's I guess it's it sounds like it's pretty good for what it is, obviously, you know, for the price and everything, you'd have to assume it's pretty good. But it's not like good enough for like I, I think I watched Mark S. Brandley talked about it and like it wasn't 
it wasn't good enough from what he said. Like, it was a pretty cool thing to have, but it wasn't, like, life-changing. And for that fucking price, dude, that shit better give you a blowjob. Yeah. At the very least, that shit better function. Like, and I think I mentioned this recently on either this a stream or this podcast, it better function like the game Arctic Thunder in the arcades that would blast cold air at you. Oh. Give me, like, a face heater and cooler thing, you know? Oh, hell yeah. You know, that's, that's honestly... That would be... That's why For thirty five hundred, that's the fucking bare minimum. It's, that'd be fucking crazy. The thing I, the thing I always kind of wondered why they never did like an actual smell of vision, but design it with like cartridges yeah, for they, things. They they couldn't they couldn't dissipate the smells quick enough. True. That that's mm. that's 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 the big thing holding them back. I mean, yeah, and people always go, "Why would you want to smell things?" It's the same. It's the th same thing when it's like a haptic suit that simulates getting shot or something. Like, why would you want to feel pain in a game? Which, first of all, all of the masochists out there are just blown the fuck out. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> second of all, like, why would you want to feel... I don't know. Why would you want to, like, you know... There's a lot of questions like that. Why would you want to have hardcore you... mode enabled in, like, New Vegas? And there's, there's, there's also, like... I don't think they're going to have a haptic vest that makes you actually feel like you're getting shot. Yeah. It's it just, just going to be like... like, like knocks you in it's going to be like they're getting poked really hard, maybe. Yeah, it'll be know. like you're being punched by like a little kid or something like that. Yeah. That's why I'm kind of intrigued by when we were talking about that one edition of Assassin's Creed Mirage. Um, uh, there's your mention. Hey. Um, well, that must be the Assassin's Creed fourth time in a in a row and in a couple uh, few, few episodes. Uh, right? about it. Yeah, got 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 to think about that. You're uh, really raising my black flag over this one. It is. <laughs> All right, sorry. I, you, you're good. I, that one was that was funny. Um, but I, I want to get that suit just because one, it seemingly works for all versions, and uh, two, I wonder if we can try to actually simulate for getting stabbed in a video game. Well, most likely not. And but I do remember... I play fucking Yakuza Kiwami 2 with that on. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, we'll play it with the mod that fixes the music, at least. Play, yeah. play um, one of those VR shooters and try to do Russian roulette with a VR helmet. I remember there was this video I saw like a decade ago that was like, the future of gaming, and it was this thing that was like, it was so there was a VR helmet... I think it was around the time Battlefield 3 came out. There was like a VR helmet. There yeah. was a omni there was they had an omnidirectional treadmill thing oh, so that yeah. you could move on your treadmill in any direction instead of using like a th a thumbstick or whatever. Um and yeah, I forget what the other elements of it were, but it was mainly that. Uh oh yeah, the yeah, haptic suit so they could feel the 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 bullets or whatever. And this was like a decade ago. Or, I, or more, I can just maybe, imagine it'd be but... so clunky. Oh, yeah. I remember vaguely, it was like it took an entire room for one thing, but like, Jesus. and the whole room had to be set up for it. You remember how old VR had to be like 15 yeah. different fucking cameras yeah. all over the place? Plus, you had to like wire a whole bunch of wires up if you didn't want to like get tangled in them. And well, and your headset was going to be wired pretty much no matter what you did. Yeah. Which, hey, we've entered a, a nice new age where you can have either or. I mean, you can do that or you can just do, like, a quest over fucking Wi-Fi. Which yeah. Is pretty nice. I, I don't know. I gotta use my quest a bit more. I don't want to fucking... I don't want... I don't know. Hacking it is kind of difficult or, like, uh, bothersome slightly. It can be a bit annoying. It's 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 only very slightly bothersome. Like, yeah. basically, you just had to, like, go to your account, enable developer mode, and then just, like, set up a developer account. And then I think I already did that, too. That's see, the weird thing. See, I did that just to get, like, side-loaded things for some, but yeah, it wasn't necessarily content, uh, content that I didn't need to have, but it was content that they just didn't want you to have that time. Yeah. But, hey, I mean, I... You know, I'll, I'll say this: if you can get around certain prices, probably do it. <laughs> I, mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, that's In the any thing. Way I, you I can. would, I would hate to come to terms with just how much I've actually unnecessarily spent on Oculus 
quest games knowing oh. that now i could very easily just pirate it actually i'm 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 over here like oh it's difficult it's difficult i don't mind it's difficult it's not worth it it was worth spending all that money cuz it's difficult see, see smiley face it see, was for, difficult for some, it wasn't for some it's not games difficult. I, don't mind I know giving, it's not difficult for some games i don't mind giving them a little extra but yeah In some I mean, games i don't v not, not yeah. vr chat but like some of the beat saber prices for dlc tracks were a little um absurd outrageous yeah yeah well yeah i mean the sad thing about beat saber for me is like i was i was um i wanted to play it i think i, I had it on i think i had it on ps vr at first no, I'm not sure if I did. I don't think I did, but whatever it was, I had it on Quest, and I was like, oh, well, I can't I can't get custom songs on here. I'm sad. And it's like, no, actually, you can. You just have to do a whole side loader thing, and that's when I first installed SideQuest and everything. And I never got the, the custom songs working properly on, on Beat Saber, but... that That is because you, uh, I'm pretty sure, if you... I'm pretty sure you had the wrong version, and you had to, like, go back a version mm, that might have been it yeah because like I, I, I remember when i was downloading stuff they had two different versions of beat saber one of them was up to date with all the official stuff one of them was like a couple updates previous and it said mm. custom songs enabled i see yeah no yeah i could maybe go back to it the other problem i was gonna say the the butt was when i looked at the website that had like custom songs it was mostly, like, I don't know, somewhat weird, like, dance stuff that I'd never really heard of. There wasn't a lot of things that was actually my thing, you know, stuff yeah. I was into. So it, it was a little disappointing, but, uh, yeah, no, Beat Saber is obviously one of the big one of the big VR ones, and uh, I don't know. I, I mean, it's cool, definitely. There's, there's experiences you can certainly have with, with VR. But I don't know. I still would like to just play a game where it's like Mario jumping around on my coffee table, you know? And I think that would be kind of neat if they could figure that out somehow, which I know they probably could. That was a whole plan with the Young Conquer thing when they announced yeah. it. I don't know if that ever fucking materialized to any extent. I don't think Young Conquer actually did. It, but. You got something. I, I know if you have the HoloLens, you can access it, but I... I... Oh, God. Yeah, I don't. I don't plan on getting a Hololens anytime soon, unless hey, unless someone yeah. wants to donate one, email yeah. us yeah, at loudequalsfunny.com. It's for the stream, everybody. I, it's for the podcast. I cannot everybody. guarantee you, gotta... you it will stay intact, but I guarantee <laughs> you it'll be a good time. We might get mad and drop a bowling ball on it from twenty feet, but you know, hey, we, that's we, for we science. Might, we might just office space that motherfucker. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. But we might least, just piss on it. Yeah, yeah, very nice to get a very interesting time. We may discover teleportation and tell a frag right into it, but you know, hey. <laughs> that'd be science, so don't get mad. Yes. Blinded you with science. So uh real quick, we were yes. talking about David Szymanski talking about uh, Tim Sweeney yeah. earlier. Yeah. And I just want to say I went to his uh profile and uh saw that he just released Squirrel Stapler, <laughs> which, if if you guys haven't uh, played it, you listening there at home, sitting in your fucking chair, yeah, don't look well, into me, it. Me. Just, just don't look into it. Just play it, oh. because God is coming. Oh yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, the oh. gloaming. I am it. I have to, I have to find this because I, I heard this headline. And I was impressed when I. So, okay. You guys remember the Expendables movies? Uh, yeah, I remember I, one. I remember that era of society, yeah. Yeah, <sighs> did you guys know they made a fourth film? Yeah, they're advertising it. Yeah. Oh, is, did they not already have four before? No, they, they made a trilogy. They, they made a third one and they stopped for good reason and then um this year uh tra ex God damn, it, I said Transformers. Expendables 4. <laughs> It's it's bad. Uh, premiered with a star-studded cast. Honestly, there's fucking Sylvester Stallone, uh, Chuck Norris, uh, not Chuck Norris, uh, Stallone, Statham, Fifty Cent, Dolph Lundgren. Yeah, there's a lot of people in there. Wait, not Chuck Norris? Not Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris Chuck did not Norris, show up for this he's, one. 
Chuck he's Norris like was 90. busy with Crime City Rock A, but yeah. he couldn't go to fucking Expendables, damn. Yeah. I guess that's just voice acting, that's fair. I mean, hey, well, I mean, Rock A like, like all the big bucks. He, he was also like fucking said, terrible in that, he, so... He's like 90, so... I mean, yeah. Yeah. Do you guys want to take well, a guess on how much it made? Because this, this movie is a hundred million dollar budget movie. Uh, Ninety-seven okay. million. So you think twenty it, million? Okay, so Claw, you think it made twenty million dollars? Tristan, you think it made ninety million dollars? Roundabouts. Yeah. Seven, Roundabouts. Yeah. Okay, both of you are wrong. It made okay. eight point three million dollars in its opening weekend. Oh. oh. <laughs> oh, that sucks for them. Yeah. Oh, what damn. else was opening that weekend? The Nun 2 in its third weekend. What? It in lost its third two. weekend. Yeah, it lost to The Nun 2 in its third fucking weekend. Oh. Jesus Christ. Well, I mean, <laughs> poor I, guys. I didn't, I didn't even know that was happening, so I guess that makes sense. I mean, I, I but also, you mentioned, like, did you know there was a fourth one? And I'm like, I didn't know how many there were, so I guess not. I don't know, yes or no. But like, yeah, I guess there, there's a new one. I had fucking no idea. Yeah, it, it has only managed to grow outside of the weekend. Um, it, it has managed to get to a total of twenty one million dollars total. It made okay. $8.3 million in its opening weekend. Oh! <laughs> oh, that sucks for them. Yeah. Oh, what damn. else was opening that weekend? The Nun 2 in its third weekend. What? It in lost. Its third weekend. Yeah, it lost to The Nun 2 in its third fucking weekend. Oh. Jesus Christ. Well, I mean, <laughs> poor I, guys. I didn't, I didn't even know that was happening, so I guess that makes sense. I mean, I, I. But also, you mentioned, like, did you know there was a fourth one? And I'm like, I didn't know how many there were, so I guess not. I don't know, yes or no, but like, yeah, I guess there, there's a new one. I had fucking no idea. Yeah, it, it has only managed to grow outside of the weekend. Um, it, it has managed to get to a total of twenty-one million dollars total. Okay. So you were closer, Claw, but Cl closer yeah, total, was an but opening weekend eight million. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh that sucks. That is just a tragic comedy right there. Yeah, it's <sighs> Jesus. That's rough. I mean, yeah. we should talk maybe a, an episode where we just talk about like some of the biggest film flops of all time because there's so many. That would be fun. So, I'd be there's so, so many of them where you just look at it. It's like there's some that are great movies, and there's so, it's same with games too. Like Deus Ex was a huge failure. Oh or yeah. Whatever. Like, uh, all, all the Deus Ex yeah, games have been kind of like financially unsuccessful, but pretty great. Yeah. I mean, for two of them, I understand that. Yeah. By the way, I started playing Invisible War, and it seems pretty good so far. Invisible War it falls is... apart after a certain point. Yeah. It once once you get to uh... not spoiling anything. Oh, fuck, I, I forgot where it was. I'm pretty sure it was Antarctica. Once you get there, yeah. at the very least, it's it, it it starts not getting very good. I mean, yeah. I don't know. It, I, I, I will I say, realize... starting out in uh, Chicago, I think. Is that where it's, that's where it takes place? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Starting out there, I love it. It's great. Yeah, I haven't gotten too far Fucking out of there yet. Fucking missiles? Hell yeah. No. It's all, it's all pretty fun so far. It's a little bit, uh, I mean, it's like simplified from the first game, but it's, uh... Yeah. It's not too bad, but, um, yeah, no, I mean, the fact that it's a sequel to the fucking... It's a sequel to a game <laughs> it's a that sequel. Has, like, three ridiculous endings that are very Do... different, and it tries to make all of yeah. them canon. I mean, I, I do know about like the, I know about the 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 sort of the twist and like who your character I... is and stuff. Yeah, I I I respect it in certain genres, making all the in all of the endings canon. I mean, Elder Scrolls did that with Daggerfall, but also yeah, like, Dragon Breaks. Dragon breaks and shit, they don't fit in sci fi, you know? Yeah, okay. Dragonfall, uh, or Daggerfall's um, storyline is uh, like the, the, the endings. The way that they 
explain that away is some of that. I, it was probably, I'm just assuming it was one of those Michael Kirkbride books. Yep. Yeah, it just feels like one of those things where he came up with some fucking ninth ninth era mining spaceships thing. Then, <laughs> nah. and it was it was it was some fucking shit happened in the air, and all of the endings happened basically at once, even though they were all yeah. conflicting and contradictory. All, all of them... and, and, it, and I remember it was like everybody's pretty confused about what happened anyway, yeah. and that's the end. <laughs> I mean, I, I do kind of want to save this for uh, for yeah. the uh, Elder Scrolls hyperfixations, but like, I honestly think that was one of the best things the series did too, which is insane. Oh, yeah. I love it. I mean, because it's fun. like you have the orcs as a playable race, you have uh, you know, something, something, something. You have the fucking necromancer moon that allows people to make black soul gems. You have all of these like cool things that were added to the series because of the dragon break at the end of Daggerfall. Yeah. <laughs> but then you have Deus Ex Invisible War, which doesn't really make much sense. Yeah. Eh, that's probably better than going the uh, human revolution route. I don't know what's going to happen. I think we talked about it, but man, Deus Ex now is interesting at this point in time, because there is a Tomb Raider thing coming out soon. Yeah. Which... Although they did downsize the company slightly. They, they let go of, I think, mm. maybe 20 employees? Yeah. Which which sucks, but... Yeah. Oh, God. Which one's which? <laughs> yeah. All right. So, so some context for the listeners. I posted this uh, image. I don't know who this is posting it, but it's just three people who look exactly like I'm not sure if one of them's dream or not. They're I all think dream. the middle one. The middle one might be. The other two might not be. Maybe, but they like they all look almost identical. Yeah, almost the same, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna. I'm like, gonna to the point. Put money on the them point all where being I, dream. Dream yeah. is such a worthless human being. <laughs> <laughs> I do think that the middle one and the one on the right, they have very very similar faces and even facial angles. Yeah, I think that just might just be like mirror. a face swap. <laughs> no, because the hair is different on the sides. Well, yeah, but you can, you know, you you can change. You don't have Maybe. to swap everything. Yeah, but still, that's a funny image. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man. So, um, anybody have anything else they want to bring up? Uh, I'm because we're I we're a little bit over two it. hours. Yeah, no, not for oh. me. All right. Well, I guess we'll end with yes. uh, what? a funny little, a funny little Sneeko update. Oh yeah, oh. man, uh, man gotten, man got into a fight because I think he did this out of spite. I think he did too. He lit up a cigarette in a gym and he's just like dancing around with it, like, oh, he's yeah. so bad. It, oh, look at what I'm doing. The, the, the gym, the gym's owner. I, I'd seen a couple of these clubs. The gym's owner basically said, "Hey, don't don't smoke in here beforehand," because he did, he tried it before, and then he was and then this guy busy. is out here flaunting it. Yeah. He also, by the way, Sneeko Sneeko is supposed to be supposed to be Muslim. Uh, smoking is haram, like yeah. insanely haram. It's, it's, Wait, what about like it's like or whatever? Uh, well, it's like I a different think thing. I think it's tobacco. I think it's different. Tobacco is uh. tobacco is haram. Yeah. I see. Well, like, I don't know how devout he is necessarily, but yeah. He, and like the thing is, he calls up the hypocrisy of like, oh, well, this guy allows weed, but not cigarettes. First of all, it's his fucking business. Yeah, he's he allowed chooses. to do. Yeah. Also, cigarettes, not cigarettes. Cigarette smoke sticks in the walls, man. Yeah, cigarette smoke is fucking greasy. Like I, I I smoke at uh you know I smoke at my friend's house every weekend. I walk into that room the next weekend. It just smells like their house. Not not any kind of substance. It just smells like you know yeah. faint bo and cleaning products. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but uh. like <laughs> I I I personally do think that smoking in a gym isn't a very good idea smoking yeah but like it's his business 
he chooses what he, yeah. and he also he was also filming against this guy's permission by the way we have the right to refuse service to anyone yeah like insane <laughs> also <laughs> i just want to point out this comment here yes quote l m f a o period i think too mad and sneeko should hang while he's in la what both are crazy <laughs> fucking weirdos y'all yeah y'all want to y'all want to guess who made that uh who made that comment aiden ross no <laughs> oh no who too mad <laughs> did that uh too too mad talking about himself in the third person grasping at straws trying to stay relevant oh god oh god <laughs> what a fucking dude how embarrassing absolute user double user remind Sorry, me i just I say, remind me for the next episode to bring up bitboy crypto i need to remember that because I just remembered it, oh, but I don't yeah. got enough time for that. I don't think. Rest in piss, bit boy. Eat shit. You, you know, we, I haven't time. heard of this. We, okay, we we'll, we'll save this for the next one because I might actually see if I can get that guy on. Because oh, oh no, I don't okay. want that. All right. No, hang, that hang guy on. Will sue, that guy will sue people. I don't need that happening. That that guy seems like an unhinged weirdo. It'd be hilarious. But I mean, I'm game. I'm game to have an unhinged weirdo on here. Uh, we, 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 we need we need one as guess that the entire as, audience can hate. As le- as yeah. long as you as long as you're the one he sues when it comes down to it. I mean, legally fine. speaking, this this is all in my name. So there you go. Yeah, legally so, speaking, so you the, guys are you, my employees. You heard, it, you heard it. You heard it right, guys. If you want to sue the Loud Equals Funny podcast, yeah, write your letters to Bane the number four. Why you? Yep. Yeah, thank for you. That's right. Uh, 1774 um, Mulholland Drive, Cal- uh, Camden, California. Send it there. <laughs> um, with, with that though, I think See, I, I, I would I would have gone I would have gone the uh, the the Walter White. Oh, I could I couldn't pick it off the top of my head. I was like, what's a fake address? And I just kept putting in things. Yeah, if you just gotta go like, oh well, you know, uh, on three three oh eight Negro Royal Lane. Yeah. God, uh, we we might have to do an episode where we talk about Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. So, because I... funnily enough, funnily enough, I haven't watched it. Oh, I, you know, I've been needing an excuse to rewatch uh, it. I've only seen like half of it, so that okay. Tell you what, we'll save that for the end of the year. <laughs> All right. Yes. Um, with that, folks, um, go to the website, which should be updated by the time you hear this, depending on... Uh, loud equals funny dot com. Yes, loud equals funny dot com. Um, also, oh, shit. Yes. I forgot. Yes. I've been playing Voices of the Void recently. Ooh, yes. Voices of the Void is good. We'll talk about that more next episode. Hell yes, we will. And I'll, <laughs> I'll give an, possibly an early review of how far I am in the Cyberpunk DLC, because I'm, I am nice. going to be playing the fuck out of that. Came out today, oh, right? Uh, comes out Thursday, I think. Yes, twenty no. seventh. Yeah, DLC all fucking two point oh patch straight, came out yeah. a week ago, and then the DLC comes I guess, out. Yeah, I oh. guess Vinny got an early copy. Oh shit! Yeah, a lot, a lot of influencers did. If uh, if you knew people who knew people, we don't nice. know people. We need to know people. Yeah, somebody get us. People. Well, you know, just. You know, Loud Justin equals funny dot com or whatever. Yes. Uh, uh, if you know people, email um, us. Yeah, host at loud equals funny dot com. Do you know anybody? Listen, Patreon. <laughs> if I'm you, sure Patreon if you, has a messaging system. Yeah. If if you have people, get them in touch with our people, yeah. which is Bane. Hey, hey Warner Fucking, Brothers, uh, mail us. We have, a, we have a Threads account. We have a Twitter yeah. account. We, we have, have a Blue Sky, Sky account. Message us hey, anywhere. We'll hey, Russo's. We could yeah. make your new Marvel movie. I, yes. I, don't know if I don't know if they're doing. They're not doing the next Marvel. Um, the guy who did Shang Chi's doing the next Avengers one. We want to do Avengers. Yeah. Hey, you see, we, soulless we, we corporate husk. <laughs> we could do your next Marvel movie. Yeah. I'll bring in Kite Man for no fucking reason. I know he's DC. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, we can get a man it's flying the a crossover. Kite. Yeah. 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 Look, it's not like DC even knows what they own anymore. Okay, you could probably yeah, put obviously. Superman in a fucking Marvel movie, and they wouldn't fucking know what to do. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, you know, 
Marvel, if you're down to play fast and loose, we are down for it. Give us a call. Hell yeah. Yep. All right, folks, with that, uh, that has been... God, what is the number? I'm drawing a blank. I'm 17. 17. This, you know, this is Cushy Dreams. I had one of their edibles before this. Cushy Dreams, hey, hey. code about 25. Nice. Hell yeah. Yes, episode 17. And with that, penis. 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 <laughs>